Let's get it. Let's get it. I'm hyped. I'm ready. And we back with another episode of Perry Necessary. I'm Jeff Jordan. And that's my co-host, my anchor, the foundation with all the flavor, Sir Gerald. How are we yeah, doing today? I'm doing pretty damn good. How are you doing? I'm fantastic. It, it, it's, we see each other too far and few. What's going on? Oh, what, what should we move in together? <laughs> That'll be something we can set up the studio. Can you imagine oh, we man. would be sitting across from each other? We would yell at each other the whole time because you would start saying some dumb shit about Fatima. I would get pissed. And the next thing you know, we would be throwing bowls on air. Is it really dumb or facts? I don't know. But uh, we're going to be looking at uh, episode 17 and 18 today. So it's a lot, a lot of good content. Uh, I watched 17. And I think we're going to be watching uh, 18 together live. We're going to be watching uh, 18 together live. But before we get going, guys, I, I told you I was bringing some some merch, some Perry Necessary merch. So if you want to win this shirt, and I got several more to come. I don't know if it's coming off good, if you can see it good or not. Here we we go. can now. You can see it? Now we can. I got you full screen. Mm, that's what's up. So, okay. So win this shirt. Simple thing, all the actions you do, like, subscribe, comment, but the comment has to be made on our YouTube platform, Perry Necessary. I'm going to put it down in, uh, if, you, if you're in a group, I'll post it down, but the comment has to be, okay, no, this is the question. The lifestyle that Zach built, does it belong to Karen or Fatima? So I'm going to repeat myself, the lifestyle that Zach has built, does it truly belong to Fatima or Karen? And I, the best answer, the best answer is going to win this shirt, free shipping and all that good stuff. <laughs> and I'll make sure it gets to you. Anybody who says Karen, can you block them? Now, we can't We can't be biased. We can't be, you know what I mean? There's no wrong answers. I, I don't think we can be oh, biased. No, there is. No, I mean, you, you asked the question. And then you gave the correct answer and then you gave the wrong answer. And you basically said, which one, which side do you fall on? Do you fall on the correct side or do you fall in on the wrong side? That's, that's basically what you just asked. What the, Darren, but can, can you see it from the other side? Can, can you, can you imagine, even though you're not a fool, I know, I know you're not a fool. Yeah. I mean, I see some, some of your posts, some you, 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 know, I, you know, I see some of your posts. I, I see you. Somebody else. But, I, don't, I, don't know that I don't know him. What, uh, what I'm saying is, can you imagine somebody who's putting a lot of work, a lot of effort, a lot of love, and just to get it pulled up, just just, just pulled from right out, out of your grasp? You know what I mean? I, I don't know. I, I, I feel for Karen. But, you know, but if I'm being answer. honest, no, if I'm being honest, I can only imagine how frustrating that is. Like in, in Karen's situation, and a lot of people are irrational like that. They would almost prefer the person not win than the, yeah. like, all of the stuff that they put in and all of the time that they uh, put in with that person. And now they now somebody else just reaps the benefit. And no matter what we think of Karen and most of us, if we have any common sense, we don't particularly care for. But Karen did the work and Fatima is uh, benefiting from the time that Karen put in. If he didn't have that time with Karen. Would he even be at an elevated state where he could even appreciate the team? I don't, I don't know that he would. I think he had to go through those things in order to be able to appreciate somebody. That's you know? facts. That's facts. Facts. And you just, it was just something I was thinking about. And I, I can see both arguments very well. You know what I mean? So, But I'm also going to put down my answer in comments on our YouTube page, Perry Necessary. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. <laughs> yes, sir. Right, you ready to get into it? Or I am, and I want to say that that is a, a dope shirt. Yes, yes, a lot, a lot of blood, sweat, and tears. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so seventeen and eighteen—is that what we're doing? Seventeen and eighteen all day. So yeah. what? What happened at the end of sixteen? You know the the Tyler Perry cliffhanger. I forgot what it was. Do you remember? There's no. always a cliffhanger. All right. Well, we're going to see at the end of these previews. You ready to get into it? Let's go. Oh. 
or what comes back around, Paul. The inevitable. You fucking up again and her being with me. Previously on Zatima. Hmm. It's down. Was it her? Yeah. Sometimes it's just not meant to be. Now, how would you know that unless you did all you can do? Is there an effort? There is. So what are we doing? That shit hurt. What are you doing? It's your mother. Hello? Hey. How are you? Hey. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, wait a second, Jeff. No, no. This is what I, this is what I'm talking about. <laughs> Remember when it, when, when I talk about wishy wishy washy, she she's taking the place of all oh, what what's his boy from from Ruthless. She she's taking uh uh, uh Andrew's place of being wishy washy. Oh man, what what, what now, now you gotta agree with me now on this one. That shit crazy. Why? Why is she calling? No, well, we him? don't have to go that far. We we, we no, don't. No, 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 no. With him. Are you are you serious? Maybe he you left. really you really gonna backstep and not see what your eyeballs are lying on? But we ain't we ain't got that far yet. Maybe he left. It the don't. Side. It maybe, don't matter. Maybe it he don't left. matter. You did you see her pick up the phone and call? Maybe he left a sock under the bed. Did you ever consider that? A sock under her bed, not yes. even her bed. It was her friend's bed, Angela's well, well, bed. Whatever. Okay. Angela's bed. He left a sock on the Angela's bed. We don't, I don't know that, that that's not what happened yet. Because all I know is she got him on the phone and maybe she's about to say, dude, you left a sock over here. Do you want me to mail it to you? Do you want to pick it up? Do you want me to just throw it away? What do you want me to do with this thing? I can't believe you. Well, I don't know. I mean, so, uh, you know, you, you might know you something different. Let's see. Eat, eat this bologna and call it a steak. Okay, let's go. All right, let's find out. Because I, I could be right here. I just want to say, I don't know what I'm talking about. Okay, that's good. Yeah, something tells me you're not. No, I'm not. Okay, you wanna talk about it? No, because you're gonna think I'm using you. Come on, you call me. I know. All right. Help me out with this, Jeff. Why do women do that? Why do women want to talk about something they bring it up specifically so you will ask them about it. <clears throat> and they pretend that they don't want to talk about it simply so you can drag it out of them so they can feel justified in doing what they wanted to do at the very beginning. Why do we have to play the back and forth for three, four or five minutes? Why not just as soon as he asks, go? Why do women do that? Let's not answer for Fatima. I'm asking general. Why do women do that? Oh, yeah, I was going to get you <laughs> But you you can't get around this. But don't don't play with me. You can't get around this. You saw what I just saw. You saw it. Don't play with me. Well, she Darryl. needs to talk uh. to somebody, and I wasn't available, so she called him. Not her mom. Not her best freaking friend. But oh, somebody you've known for all of two minutes. Hot pants. That's what it is. <laughs> what but anyway, mean? what did you talk about? Hot pants. Last no, last huh? week you said something about her. Um, Aaron Allen. Let it. it let it cool off. Let those drawers cool off. Let it let it cool off. You sitting in bed yearning and urging and come on, like really? Come on. You you really don't see this, uh Daryl? Come on, really? Well, I mean, I, 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 I all I, the people go I ahead. See, go I ahead. see that she wants to have a conversation. And I'm just I would prefer if she had just gotten right to it. That's that's not one to have a conversation. It's a specific person she wants to have a conversation with. It, if you wanted to talk to somebody, it don't matter who you talk to, especially when you got a best friend. Come on now. Who's Facebook. that? We got a Facebook? Okay. Yeah, yeah. She The attention, she misses his presence. I guess, is she, whose presence is she missing? You know they talking. No, I'm just saying that he could be, this person could be saying that she misses Zach's presence, so she's calling somebody else. Probably that's not what she's saying. She is once again, you know, she is using this guy for whatever reason. She don't want to be with like, oh, I want to be with now. I want to be with this guy using him once again. Uh Paul. Like, come on, Officer. Like, really? Really? I, I can't keep up. What do you want? I don't I don't even think she knows what she wants. You That's what it she, is. You don't think so? She doesn't know what she wants because like. You just said she wants to have a conversation. She has several people in her life that to have a conversation with. 
Heck, she can even call Andy if she wants. I, I wouldn't even mind that. But not, oh, not him. What's his name again? That is Paul. All yeah, day. Not, not Paul. Always available. All right. Let's get back to Paul. Poor Paul. So what do you want to do? I want to go for a run. I'll go for a run. Yeah, that's what I do to clear my mind. Like on a treadmill? No, outside. It's kind of late to be running outside. I know. I was thinking maybe you could come with me. Oh, so it'd be like your bodyguard? No, I need a friend. All right. Uh, to be honest, I'm not really into running. I could, uh, I could bring my bike, though, ride next to you. OK, that works. You don't mind? You want to go now? Um, yeah, yeah. All right, where are you running? Um, Lycan Park on 14th. Do you know where that is? All right, I'm going to toss my bike in the back of my truck. No, don't do all that. Hey, Fatima, it's late. You don't need to be out there by yourself, all right? I'm going to come get you. I'll be there in 30. All right, well, thank you. All right, see you in a bit. Oh, damn, girl, you need some oil on that door. Don't do that. Who was that? Paul. Oh. Okay. So this is what you're saying. She could have went down there and just talked to her because she was basically in the same house with her. Uh, Daryl, you you knew that. You you knew that. Well, I'm, I was just I'm I'm clarifying that that's what you were saying. And and for people who don't know, uh, Paul, that's that's not uh, Fatima's girlfriend, uh, boyfriend. Uh, Zach is the one. I, some people think they look similar, so I just want people to know that. Paul is supposed, he was just supposed to be like people one think night they stand. look so similar? Well, for people who don't follow the show, I don't want them thinking that that was her boyfriend. Paul is, he was just a person that worked in her building that she got comfortable with just to get people up to speed who don't follow the show, you know? Yeah, yeah. That was, um, that was Al who made the previous comment. Okay. Just for clarity. Okay. What you about to do? We are gonna go for a run. And why you ain't ask me? Oh, Angela. What? The last time we went for a run. I, I, it was a slow walk, but those can be very therapeutic. To a bar. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. And where are you going? I'll dress up. You look good. Yeah. Okay. yeah. It's, it's not too desperate. No, it's perfect. I love it. <sighs> Shit. Let me go change. Oh. What? Go. I'm trying to get fucked. Okay. okay. I don't need to be cute. Mm -hmm. I need to be irresistible. <laughs> Girl, you are a mess. Uh -huh. and you got to get all of this mess. Ew. Okay. <laughs> so shame. Oh my gosh, I can't wear So maybe, um, maybe, um, Fatima need to take, um, her advice because, I mean, according to you, that's what Fatima's looking for too, right? No, I don't think Fatima's, you, uh, I don't think Fatima wants that. But once again, she's playing these freaking games like she's in middle school. I want you, Zach. No, I don't want you, Zach. You know what I mean? She, she, she doesn't know what she wants it right now. And now you messing with somebody else, you know what I mean, to get your way or, or, or take your mind off of things. Somebody, there's another uh, comment. Yes. How is he all of a sudden a friend when she knows he's trying <laughs> to hit that hot in the pads? <laughs> she can't talk to Zach right now because she wants makeup sex. I think low key she's trying to give him another chance to. Now, do you? Why do Why do you all think so little of my home girl Fatima? Maybe she literally Al. Maybe Fatima literally just wants to jog, and we all know that going out jogging in the middle of the night. It's not exactly a safe venture for most women these days. Now, I know that Fatima carries a gun. And she's pretty much not scared of anybody. But it might still be better for her to not go alone. She said that the only reason why she didn't ask her best friend to go out there jogging with her. Because her best friend will just fall over. She can't, she can't do it. So I think that's a legitimate response. That's BS. Her friend said she would have she rolled in the car. Just like this guy just said, he he's not even a runner. He he's gonna be in her car. She go, oh, that's fine. What well, he actually said is bicycle, but she doesn't mind him being in a bike, a vehicle. But why not her friend Angela? So what is the difference? 
because Angela don't have meat swinging between her legs. That's why. That's the only difference. She wants the company of a man. There's nothing wrong with that, but call it out for what it is. You call know, it out favorite, for what it is. My favorite Stephanie Mill song is called Comfort of a Man, just so you know. Go ahead. Please continue. I'm just saying what's the wrong the wrongdoing is she wants to talk to somebody but it, it she wants it specific you know what i mean she wants it from a guy it shouldn't matter who it comes from that's all i'm saying i want to answer this question what episode do we ever see her jogging we've seen her jogging in a couple of episodes she's all jogged with zach so it's pretty it's kind of established that jogging is a way that she clears her mind mm -hmm. and climb walls. you know she knows how to sneak in the whole houses that remember that time she she snuck in on Zach and Zach didn't know how the hell she got in the house. Yeah. Yeah. She was very crafty. Very crafty. Yeah. Is this better? That is saying a lot. I okay. know. All right, girl. Wow. <laughs> Wait, uh, you're not leaving because I'm having company, are you? Well, how long is he going to be here? Well, that really depends on him, <laughs> how long he can last, OK? Uh, OK, um, mm -hmm. got it. Well, I'm going to go for a run. You think Tyler, and... um, um, do you think Tyler directed this episode? You know, Tyler don't like seeing no damn no breast out. He was like, well, who approved this? He probably, hey. they probably had to talk him into this. You know, when, they, when, he, when he showed him the final cut, he was like, damn it, I go away for one day. And you replace all of the penis with with breasts. I think so he probably, probably would have. I, I probably think he was like, "Well, this is a waste of film. Well, where's the guy? Yes, he yes. needs to be." <laughs> yeah, yeah. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta balance this out some kind of way. We will see Zach or some dude just completely sprout out on the bed uh, very, very soon in order to to balance this hair out. We have to. It's the only way this is gonna work. Because it's a Tyler Perry world. So you know he's going to control the balance. He let this through for a specific reason. Because he got some serious um, displays coming very soon. And I'll come back and take a shower and go to bed. So I hopefully miss all that. Zach, got you feeling like that. Hmm. It's just a lot. I'm sorry. And I'm sorry my dick is here. Oh. Uh Okay, you know what? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I know. <laughs> oh, Lord. <Ooh. laughs> hey. Hey. <laughs> Come inside. Thank you. Hey, Patima. <laughs> hey. Hey. Damn, you looking nice. Oh, this old thing. <laughs> <Nice>. <laughs> hmm. You got something to drink? Oh, yeah. And I got some stuff to smoke, too, but it's upstairs. Oh, shit? Yeah. Straight to it. I like that. <laughs> I thought you might. Fatima, <laughs> uh, mm -hmm. I'll see you later. I'm Bye. bugging that she just opened the door like that. She's not even. She's not even pretending about what she's on. She's just making it really, really clear. I gotta respect that in her. You know. Hmm. You know. You know, Jeff. I know. Yeah. Gotta respect it. <laughs> Hold on, Fatima. Right this way. <laughs> oh. Ooh. Such a gentleman. Mm. So don't. Hi. Hey. So, about your mother. Yeah, how is she? Well, Mr. Taylor, mm -hmm. as I told your brother, she's not looking good. What happened? She overdosed on fentanyl. Your brother got her here when he could, but I'm not very hopeful that she's going to regain consciousness. Shit. I'm so sorry. Um, can I see her? I will let you know when you can go back. Uh, we're working with her now, and it could be unpleasant to watch. Thank you. Of course, I'm so sorry. fuck you looking at, man? Damn, Jeremiah, I have some fucking respect. Oh, man, this nigga just keep fucking looking at me, man. Sorry. Sorry. What happened? You talked to the doctor? No, what did you do? What do you mean, what did I do? 
Jeremiah, come on, man. You know what I'm talking about. You know what gave her $500. You know you wasn't supposed to give mama no money. Jeremiah, I know you're not blaming this on me. Nigga, that's, that's on you. Oh. Pause for a you second. You take me to be. Okay, so so for people who don't know, uh, the woman that was with Zach earlier, that is Connie. That's uh, Zach's friend from the neighborhood when they were younger. They This was way before Karen, way before uh, Fatima, back from the neighborhood. They used to have sex, as teens do. So yeah, she's from the old neighborhood. So that was from his past, but she happens to be there because she knows the mother also. The mother got uh money from Zach when uh Zach brought the mother, the brother, Fatima in for therapy. And for people who didn't see the uh the last episode, uh he gave I didn't know it was that amount of money. He gave the mother five hundred dollars. So the brother is kind of correct. She got the money to do drugs from Zach. Zach is basically saying like listen, you should have been watching her, but you know I d I don't know. Like if someone if you know someone has a substance abuse problem, do you actually give them money or is that's just out of your hands? No, you don't give them money, but Zach hasn't really been in that world for a while. So he probably just kind of forgot, you know, like when you, now that he has money, he gives people money and give people money without necessarily thinking about it. When you're living in it every single day, you're just consciously aware of it. It's like if somebody is, um, is diabetic, <clears throat> you're not, you don't live with them every day. They could still be your loved one and you might give them a piece of candy or you might take them to McDonald's or whatever it is that you're thinking, you know, about making their life pleasant. Cause that's what, that's what poor people who grew up poor or who lived in a poor environment, when they get some money in the back of their mind, they just want everybody to be comfortable everybody to be happy and they're and in and, and, and a subtle ways they're always looking to buy happiness and buy friendship and it's not necessary i'm sure that it can it'll just slip your mind you know um but but he his brother is not wrong but yeah, i'm just saying that, say. yeah his brother his brother's not wrong at all um but it doesn't mean that zach really would be held responsible in any kind of way because it's not something that he even was even thinking about at the time. His mother asked for money in order to be able to sit there and he fulfilled his promise. I, I don't, he probably never even thought it out. You know what? <clears throat> You're right. I'll say the, uh, the brother and the mother, obviously they, do, they both do drugs, but she's never OD'd before because I think the brother is, he's more, he's more drug savvy. I, he, I think he knows when to stop, you know what I mean? And the mother just went overboard. So I think, I think he's always been the one handling the money. And in this case, that gave it directly to the mother when it was both, it, the month that $500 was for both of them, but he handed it all to her. So it, it, you are right. I mean, he wasn't thinking about that, but the, the brother's correct. I hate to say, you know what I mean? Under the brother's oh, yeah, watch, he's right. That's never happened when he was handling the money and the drugs and all that. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. Zach, it, because of what Zach did there in this situation. Mm -hmm. Yeah. There's mm -hmm. no way around that. And it's sad too, because $500 where Zach is right now, $500 is just not a lot of money. He, yeah. He's not even going to miss that. And the, and the concept of giving somebody $500 or like, you know, almost like me giving somebody $5 in order to do something that I really want them to do. It's something that's a, it's not an outrageous thing. And, but now he's looking at the consequences of giving someone who hasn't been able to build up the, um, um, the, the knowledge of what to do with $500. Yep. They, they literally are, they're addicts. And so their $500 is going to go straight to that now she can get all she wants. I was, um, I was watching, um, this documentary on the pointer sisters and one of the pointer sisters, um, well, two of them actually, but one of them first, uh, got hooked on, on crack cocaine. And the thing about crack is it's really, really cheap, right? So when you're famous and you're rich, if you get hooked on crack, you never will run out of money. You'll probably die before you run out of money, you always will be able to afford it. You know, like some people who have no money, they got to go rob, they got to go steal. And sometimes people who are rich, 
they eventually have to go rob and steal in order to to get, deal with their heroin habit or their their high level cocaine habit. But when your habit is the lowest you can go, you just not going to run out of money usually before you are end up in a hospital or dead. Um, and that's kind of this situation. Five hundred dollars. She probably just said, what what can I get for five hundred dollars? And they gave it to her and she went nuts. Yeah, it's very, very sad. And it happens all the time. <clears throat> that you were smoking with her. You were watching her. That was my fucking fault. I ain't no fucking babysitter, dog. Oh, you motherfucker, man. Nigga, I tried to bring her by you, but no. You're too busy about that little bitch you got. That what? You concerned about that little bitch you ain't you ain't. <laughs> I fucking hate you! These two Wait! Jeff, do you see the people in the back how they just disappeared? What no. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna rewind it, but I want you to look at this. There are people in the back. I think that they're white and they're looking at these black men arguing. And then all of a sudden, when the fists start swinging and they pull back, they're not running. They're just gone. It's like they just vanished in the thin air. Look at this. It's the Tyler. Tyler always slips those little doozies in. It's real funny. Okay. About that little bitch, you, you oh, are, man. Are, nigga, you I go, try okay. to bring her by you. See, no. Yeah. You too busy about that little bitch you got. That what? You concerned about that little bitch you? Ain't, you are, oh, look, they go. <laughs> <laughs> They are gone. And the things that they're reading are sit they're right there. <laughs> uh, <laughs> they, like they, they move like a cartoon character. Yes. They got I, there. I am not sticking around to see how this plays out. Oh, oh, oh my god, man. Listen, I'm listen. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's it's fine. It's fine. Hate you. It's fine. It hate you. I swear to God. I swear to God. All right, all right. Sit your black ass. Sit your black ass down. If that nigga wasn't my brother, I'd kill him. No, you wouldn't. He probably would. Sit down, Jeremiah. We in a hospital and y'all fighting each other like some niggas. All these white people around, you scaring them. There's no white people around now. Your mother is in there fighting for her life and this is what y'all doing out here? He's fucking high. I know he's, he's high. He's fucking high. Zach needs to chill. If other circumstances hadn't happened, he would be high right now, too. He would be in that same exact situation and condition. Luckily, he got himself out of that situation, but that's that escaped him in some kind of way. Probably not even always. Do we know about Zach's past drug use or anything like that? No. Hmm. You should be a fucking shame to yourself. What a doctor at? What the doctor said again? Oh. Stop scratching your nuts. That's what the doctor said. But if they itch, you gotta scratch. I, I, I'm, uh, if your nuts itch, you have to scratch them. Right, Jeff? Uh, no comment. Uh, no, I, no? no comment. My mother just better be all right. That's what I know. Wake up, Jeremiah. What's taking the doctor so long, man? Fuck. You can't take it, can you? Man, nigga. You just want, just go get high. That's what you want to do. You just want to, you have to get high. No, I'm here for mama, but you wouldn't know nothing about that. You was never there. Whatever. You feeling any better? Wait, let me, let me mm. pause for a second. Hold on. Al again says, this might be a moment of weakness for Zach where he goes back dark. I blame resentful. Um, I think blame resentful. I, I, I don't, I, I think this could be a case of this. What I'm seeing is this is going to be the road back to Fatima. Cause she's going to find out something about this. She's going to come running. Her panties are going to be, you know, dry and they're going to work it out and then they're going to get wet again. Oh, goodness. Yeah, I agree. Okay. Yeah, that's what's gonna happen. A little. 
You know, you're pretty fast, you know that. <laughs> I need to be. Yeah. So besides keeping your body looking right, what's all this running do for you? Well, it, it clears my mind. All right, I'm pausing the um the the episode because we have a call. Yeah. Caller, you must turn down your computer and speak to Jeff and I. Caller, you there? Turn down your well, TV. They, they're, they're, listening, they're listening on TV, so it's going to take a second for him to catch up. Yes, How sir, we can hear you. How you doing? Good. What's your thoughts? Um, I was just watching it um, with you guys. Um, and as far as what I was saying, as far as with the um, the resentment stuff, I was pretty much saying that he's probably going to go back into a moment of darkness where the tragedy with his mom, the fight with his brother just recently, and then, you know, that girl being around, she's there for him right now. So, you know, that's pretty much showing uh, that he might fall back into that same path that he was trying to run away from as far as being with Fatima. So that's what that's what I was pretty much. But what do you think? What do you think Fatima is going to play in this? You think that that as a typical Tyler Perry show, he's just going to like work everything out with Fatima right away. That's the way these things normally go. But you don't see that happening now. Perry show goes as far as Tyler Perry shows go, and if he was the one casting it, Tyler Perry wouldn't have had it the scene made up like that. He would have pretty much had it where. They would have had a big disagreement and then they would have uh separated like they did already yeah. and then they would have collided back together again in some kind of uh emotional uh standpoint that's how he would have done it uh whoever's writing this they're all over the place in my opinion yeah i think we got that's clues that he didn't i think we got clues that he either didn't write or direct this one one of the two yeah so uh that's how i see that but how Fatima will fit into this. Yeah. I don't think too much she'll fit into it because right now she's focused on Paul. And like I said before, it's not a matter of if she's... I think she's trying to see if he's going to give her that roughness that she's looking for. Because remember, Zach already set the bar high when he went in the club and was talking to her about that whole situation. Uh, when he went in there trying to be a gentleman kissing her on her neck, didn't, she didn't want that. He wanted some some somebody to talk to over the table and you know get right to it. That's what Fatima was looking for, but Paul wasn't playing that role. He was trying to be a gentleman. He was when trying to look for a relationship out of it. when Fatima finds out about this situation with the um um with Zach, let's just say she finds out about it. This a episode or next episode. You don't think that she's gonna immediately go to Zach, and you, you think Zach's gonna have be able to resist her at that point? I don't think so. In in, in, in when she first hear about it, I don't think she's gonna really uh, care about it because remember, when they went to uh, when they went to therapy, you see how fast she was easily to uh, sway off that whole situation to begin with. Right. So it's not yeah. So it's not like that's even a pillar to keep to bring her back to him. It has to be something else that ties both of them together uh, as far as what their trauma together was dealing with uh, in order to tie them back into one another. But as far as right now, she just focused on uh, that guy, Paul. That's how I see it. She focused on Paul. She's trying to uh, bring him back into her tight circle because uh, he already uh, mentioned to her that she's, he pretty much feel like he's being used by her. Um, so now that he set the bar now, now he's going to try to go in there more aggressiveness. Now he's going to be going there more aggressive due to the fact that hey, I already told her how I feel and what I want already. So now she's calling me back. So now I want I want to see her expectations and what now she wants me, what she wants from me now. You know what I mean? So that's how I see it. So I, I don't think that she's going to be focused on this whole uh, stanza with um, Zach and his brother and the mom right now. All right. We'll find out. Any thoughts on that, Jeff? No. All right. Thank you, sir. Thank you for calling us. Perry Nestor. All right, no problem. <laughs> All right, bye. I might be the first caller, huh? <laughs> uh, you're the first caller today. We've had a few. All right. All right thank All you. Right, have a good day. Thank All you, right. too. Um, we actually had another caller that tried to come in through that. Callers, <laughs> let me just tell you something. Jeff is...
stingy and he only allows us to have one phone line. We don't have a bunch of them. We only have one line. So when somebody, <laughs> like, if you're like listening to shows, like in the shows back in the day where he had to, he could press the button on the telephones and have <laughs> multiple people picking up and stuff. Yeah, yeah. I mean, technically, we could do that. We actually could do that if I know. It would be absolute chaos. Um, so if you happen to want to call us, you can do so. Um, oh, my number uh, number's not showing right now, but you could do so um, whenever we're not taking a call, if you happen to be watching it live. But if we are taking a call, uh, then just wait till the caller hangs up. And before we move on, we have another caller. Hello. Welcome to Perry Hello. Necessary. Hello. Down. Yes going on this is uh matt gordon i'm surprised you didn't block me man why would i block oh i no hold on i'm trying to hang up on you right now but it won't let me <laughs> no no he's gotta go how who, who gave him the number listen i got waves man i got waves. i see brother listen man i was trying to hold back man but i said let me call man and get to talk to you guys yeah first of all i like the back and forth with you guys you know what i'm saying even though, Dow, you know you be fronting, man. You know what's going on. Yes, I don't know what you're talking about. You know what I'm talking about. We're talking about with Fatima playing coy. Like, you don't know that. Yeah. She's playing, <laughs> you know, playing in the Lions Den with this guy, Paul. Come on now. I'm not very right, bro. You don't, you don't contact and put your head on the shoulder of the dude that's trying to get in your pants. Come on now. Yes. Yes. You know, she knows better than that. Come maybe on, maybe she know better than that all, so. maybe she sees Dow, him as an up, up upstanding citizen. Dow, you're too intelligent not to know that. But I know you're just messing with messing around. But you know better. And you talking about I'm, I flip flop. You know. Well, you know you yeah. kind of you're just a little shady because sometimes you speak the truth, and then other times you say things against but Fatima. That's just it. You I know. Speak the truth all of the time. I'm not biased. I speak the truth all the time. Oh, you think I'm biased? Mm -hmm. you think I'm biased? Yes. You two, you, you, you two, like on talk shows and all of that, y'all take sides. <laughs> I, you know, intentionally, I assume. I don't know if you rehearsed this or not. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's the way it goes. Uh, yes, sir. I understand. You're a provocateur. Yeah. You know, so to speak. You speak for interest. I get it. I get it. Let me ask you a question. Sure. Right now, is Paul in a position to go back home with Fatima? They're sitting out in a park right now, a dark park. They're not they're they're not bike riding and running. They're sitting out on a on on a chair. Could he make the move to slide back into that apartment with her or that house? Of I course should say. he could. Of course he could. Does Fatima want that? It's somewhere in the back of her mind. You know what I'm saying? That's there. Her, her intentions right now are just to, to put a foot in the water and not get wet. You know, I've been in experiences like that in my life with females. A shoulder to cry on is a lap, a lap you know, being a lap in a minute like that a lot of times. It's right. definitely a pathway for Paul, and Paul sees that pathway, the potential pathway to that happening. You know, so he's just playing it close, and it's going to be available, and if he catches us slipping, he's in there. He's been a you know? uh, he's been a guy. If she's mad, if she's if she gets mad too mad at Zach at some point, and too and too jealous, and Paul is right there, pick up the pieces. You know what I'm saying? How far is this going to go? Not, she should not. She should not. The boundaries. She's <clears> just <throat> passing the boundaries too much, blurring the boundaries too much with this guy. See now. Mm -hmm. you you see how he's straying off court. He was, he was doing a little good for a while, but now he's he's not. No, he's not straying off. Man, no. off court a little I'm, bit. I'm fair. I'm, I'm, listen, I'm fair. I'm the same. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, put on. Let me just put it on the other side. Mm -hmm. Same thing with Zach. Zach is playing his that girl Connie, that crackhead Connie, too close. Also, blurring the boundaries with her. See now he's. From, now, I, now, I don't think so. I don't now, think so. Now he's speaking facts. He's see it now is. now he, he's speaking facts now. I always. I don't think. Yeah, he should not mm -hmm. see Connie that close. Not Jeff, how could you be? How could you be mesmerized but, by this? No, 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 no. But when it comes to Connie, he's not seeking her out. It, it's, it's, it, it would be different if Zach was calling Connie in the middle of the night, saying, "Connie, let's go to the gym." Connie, I, I need a friend to talk to because Zach knows he has his best friends to talk to. He has Nathan. He has his other friend to talk to. 
So the difference is Fatima is choosing this guy. She's choosing to speak to this guy when she has several friends to talk to. Let this brother set you straight, please. Go ahead, set set him straight. Go ahead, thank you, sir. But listen, Zach knows better too about Connie. Now yes. come on, he used yes. her, he brought her to the club and everything, come yes. on now. Specifically to make Fatima jealous and all of that. Like he knows he's playing with fire. Oh. And no, he it wasn't to make her jealous. It wasn't to make her jealous. It was not to make her jealous. No, even it wasn't. It wasn't even if it wasn't. He knows Connie wants him on demand. He exactly. could he could exactly. do whatever he wanted to Connie exactly. whenever he wanted to do it to Connie. When you exactly. have a woman or do when, when 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 you have somebody like that, you don't go around them at all, giving any Dial is kind right. of impression. Dial is right. Dial is right. Yeah, he's right with this. Yes, Definitely right. You, that, that's no, hard. no, I'm gonna fight. I'm gonna fight. All I'm saying no, is, I have no wins. You don't. Yeah, you can't win this. Listen, you can't win. Now listen, I'm going listen on this platform. We all have a view. I would never ask you to sway your view. So we all have a view, and, and no, no one's no one's wrong. What I'm saying is, he brought Connie for a reason to fix her wrong. You know what I mean? He brought her for a reason. It's okay to have favorites, but some come you gotta see the truth when it's right in your face. Come on now. Yeah. yeah what is wrong with be you? honest. Be honest once in a while. Yes, come please on. do. <laughs> I like him. I like him. I like him again. <laughs> you're, you're not gonna like me in a minute once I go. Oh boy. Though, that's oh. <laughs> Listen, I watch these shows, man. I just watch it for entertainment value. No sides drawn. I have we all have favorites. We like characters, we like more than others, but you got to suspend belief, you know, but if we want to talk realistically. Let's talk realistically, you know, but you that's where I watch it. I'm biased. I watch it but like that. Like, okay. You know, both of them know what's going on. Fatima and Zach, they both doing the same thing. To be honest, they're both doing the same thing. They should know, no, no way in the world. Should Zach be around Connie and no way in the world should Fatima be around Paul? I definitely agree. Fifty percent of what you just said. That's what the, but but that's the show. That's what fifty percent. You, you, you gotta have that drama because that's the show. I understand that. That's that, that's true. But realistically, they shouldn't be around them. Come on, guys. Oh, like man. you said, Fatima has too many people to talk to. You want to talk to the guy that wants to get in your pants? Come on, of all people, this is who you call. And he let himself, he let, he let, he let his intentions be known also. So he's not, I got to give him credit. He's not, the wolf. he let it, he let it be known. He's the wolf. He said, listen, I want you. And in a minute, I'm the heartbeat. I'm there. The same thing with Connie. Zach knows that Connie in a minute will just give it up to him. I'll catch him slipping and give it to him or take, try to take it from him also and catch him in a compromising position, drinking or something. So. Now, moving forward to the mom. Come on now. Yeah. You know, if you give a crackhead money, that's what they're going to do. They're going to smoke it up. That's, that's true. That's but, very but true. But Zach didn't know that. Zach didn't know that his mother was going to OD on it. You know what I'm saying? He didn't prepare for that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because all, all the other times never happened to her like this. So. Yep. That's yeah, you gotta, happens. you know, and, and, and when that happens, when when you're in that situation, you're not thinking about that. You're not, you're just not. You. No. He was thinking yeah, about yeah. that moment in time. My mother. Exactly. I he, promised he a, to give her money. He had a purpose. He wanted his mother to come to therapy. Yeah. What's the best way to get her there? And he knows to give her money to come to therapy. Yeah. And that's it. But I, I don't like the way they had Jeremiah. All of a sudden, he's just a total crackhead now. You know what I'm saying? Like before he was, he was shady, but not even, you know, w- when we first guys. saw him, he was somebody that looks like he was to be feared, you know, like mm-hmm. it, it seemed like <laughs> Zach was, was backing up and didn't want to piss him off. Now Zach hitting right. him in the chest in the middle of the hospital. Yeah. Now he's in the nobody, just a druggie now. It's yeah. A total crackhead now. They just switched his character. Up. And they did it yeah. too fast. He didn't, there was no evolution. Yeah, he just, wasn't even gradual. Right. You're right. Yeah. He just went straight from a right. thug to a crackhead. Pick that up. Good, good. good. Yeah. I thought I was the only one picking these things no, up. But, sir. You know. All right. Well, thank you so much for 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 participating. Um, you Listen, have. I I, I I I was for whatever reason I, I've been trying to block your number the whole time, but it won't block. So I guess you you can just always give us a call back until I figure that part out. All right. <laughs> Sounds good. Listen, just guys, just just. But I, I like the back and forth. But come on, time. Come on, be honest once in a while. Yeah, I, I agree. Jeff, I, know the line, I, know the line, I know the lines are drawn, but yes. 
know? Wait, me, Matt, you talking about me not being honest? Yes, yes, he's talking about you. Come on now. You, you know you're not always honest. Yeah. You see it too. I'm not? He's hardly ever honest. You got a blind spot for Zach. Zach can do no wrong. Yada, yada. <laughs> All right, guys, let's get another time. Thank Keep you, sir. Keep doing. Get to the show. Please. Thank you. Oh, 704-937-1430. Is that our number? It's hard to read that. 704-937-1430. If you happen to be watching us live, feel free to call in. If you're not watching us live, call us anyway. Leave a voice message about whatever <laughs> you're thinking, and we'll play it on the next Perry Necessary. So we are um, in the park with uh, Fatima and Paul and I say that Fatima is about to tell Paul to stop trying to get in the pants. We'll see. And I usually try to do about three miles. That normally does a trick. Hey. Yeah. How about tonight? <sighs> Not really. Zach. Paul. <laughs> you know I saw him today. Really? Where? Mm -hmm. Apparently, he's trying to buy some building that I've been contracted for. Well, how'd that go? Or <clears throat> yeah. men. You know how it went. Mm-hmm. Testosterone. Yeah, a whole lot of that. Yeah. You know, I've been thinking, um, if he were to apologize, you know, like show you his heart, would you forgive him? I mean, Zach does show me his heart. Does he really? Yeah, he does. But I mean, like, not being passionate, you know, when he's just sitting around doing nothing. I mean, he's done that like one or two times. I see. Look, you got to understand, Zach had it really tough growing up. I get all that. And I'm not trying to make excuses for him. And honestly, I don't even want to talk about him. I just want to clear my mind. Well, uh, I don't want to complicate things for you or anything, but, um. Uh... What? I want you so fucking oh. bad right now. Oh. I'm just saying, you know, if you ever. Oh, I just need a friend right now, okay? See, this is exactly what I was saying. She just needs a friend. Now, I he's agree. making his intentions pure, and she's saying, I need a friend. So that's all. She just wanted a friend. It could have been anybody. It wait, just are you, happened wait, to wait, <clears throat> wait, I thought we was agreeing, but so you're basically trying to, you're justifying her needing him as a friend? She just didn't wants to over. But then we just go over this, that that's BS. Didn't we just go over this? Did I miss something? We went over that you, you made that statement, but I think that this proves the point that the, her intentions are pure because he's isn't asking. She, isn't she staying with her best friend right now? Her best friend is occupied. No, 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 no. no. I don't want to hear that. She's, She's occupied. Staying with... Okay. Right now, her best friend, that. right now, her best friend's attention is diverted. Okay. What about Andy? Andy is on a different show. Ooh, hey -o. Okay. No comment. <laughs> I'm here for all that. All right. I know, I know. You just, you need a friend. Yeah. And you just want to use me again. <laughs> you see, that's why I don't want to call you, because I don't like when you say stuff like that. Uh, well, I don't mind. I don't want you to call me anymore. You can stop calling me. All right, cool. Then we can leave then. Just know that I'm never going to not answer your call, though. You right, right, right. And why not? Because you might be calling me that one time to say, now. Now? Yeah, like now. Like, Paul, let's, let's do this now. Like, I'm ready for you now. Like, let's actually do this. No, that's not going to happen, so don't wait on that. Uh, well, man's got to keep hope alive, right? I'm sure you have plenty of girls that you can call. <laughs> yeah, and use them like you use me. Oh. What is that, karma? <laughs> you know, I done actually had sex with you about 12 times already. 
I'm sorry, what? <laughs> In my mind. Okay. I know, I know. Look, I didn't try to date someone, all right? It just, every time I looked at her, I, I would think about you. When I close my eyes, I see your face. I actually called her your name once. Oh. Yeah, she wasn't happy about that. <laughs> wow. <laughs> okay, uh, yeah, you got it bad. Yeah. Can you blame me? Every time I come around, it's just everything about you, your style, the way you dress, your hips, your waist, that ass, you just... <laughs> okay, Paul. <laughs> come on, how am I supposed to not fantasize about you? You're supposed to be my friend. I am no. a friend. Daryl, Daryl, uh, enough, enough. Okay, when do, when do you say, when do you stop this friend? She's smiling and smirking, urging, and come on. Really? It's, it is becoming a little difficult. Yes. Oh, oh, oh a little difficult. Oh, just a, just a little bit. Okay. It's, it's becoming a tad bit difficult. Yeah. For me to continue on with this, but I'm gonna do it because Fatima is my girl. That that, yeah. but I'm also a man. Yeah. Well, look, I. I'm sorry. I don't want you feeling like that. No. Yeah, but you want me to stay close to you just in case, right? Why are you so complicated? I'm just saying. No, seriously, you ask all the right questions, say all the right things, but you are exhausting. I just want to clear my mind. Sorry, fine. Okay, clear away. Mm-hmm. And now I just want to go home and take a shower. See, that's what I'm talking about. Now you got me thinking about you naked. So <laughs> much How do we get there? <laughs> I'm sorry. I need a shower. I need a cold shower. Yeah, you do. <laughs> Let's go. All right. Will it be Paul that Tyler has spread out or, or, or over the couch or stepping out of a shower or tub? Is it going to be Paul? We haven't seen Paul naked yet. It, it's it's got to be his turn coming up soon, right? I think Tyler only likes sculpted bodies. Okay. You don't, okay. Yeah. Now, how did he even get hired, I wonder? His smile. He has a nice smile. So that's yeah, probably. yeah. Like I say, yeah, he's a nice, <clears throat> normal-looking guy. But Tyler don't want to see that naked though. Yeah. yeah. What the hell, Nathan? Don't what the hell me? Nathan, what is your ass doing here? What? Hold on, you told me to come over here. Nigga, three hours ago. Okay, I was busy. What's up? I'm here. Busy with some bitch. No, I wasn't. What's up? Whatever, I smell her on your lion ass. Whatever. What? No. What? Look, we're not even together. We're not even dating. So what are you talking about? You know what? You're damn right we ain't dating. And you know what else is fucked up? What? It's real fucked up how you told your little friends I made the profile. Belinda, you did make the profile. That was fucked up on your part. I was wrong? So you want to see Zach and Fatima together? Yo, look, I would never do no underhand shit like that to Zach, all right? <laughs> all that shit you was telling Lori? All that shit Fatima said, and you mad about this about your wife? So now, you team O, I'm trying to keep Zach and Fatima together. Look, I know, but that situation was my fault, all right? Whatever. Why are you hating on them so much? I told you, I don't fucking like Zach, okay? He's a hoe. First of all, don't disrespect my boy, all right? Second of all, wow. he's different with her, all right? He's different, oh, oh, oh. so he changed. <clears throat> my homegirl Connie, she tried to get at him. He couldn't resist her with anybody, but now? But now what, when he'd have found Jesus, what? No, he had turned her down, don't even want her, didn't think twice. Whatever. That bitch must be dried up. Hell no, nah. Connie fine as fuck. Hmm, I ain't never seen this bitch. Anyway. Show, show, show her a picture and see if you can justify that statement. I'm just saying, Zach is all about Fatima, and Fatima is all about Zach. So I was wrong, and you were wrong. You need to drop this shit. I ain't dropping shit. Why are you hating on them? Like, again, you, you stay hating on them. I don't like him, OK? He's a whore. Okay, okay, I see what it is. You like Zach. Okay. <laughs> Look, I don't want that nigga. I'm tired of saying that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He said, uh, 
Yeah, I had a little thing. You said you had a little one night stand back in the day, all right? I get it. Whatever. I don't want that nigga, okay? Yeah, you do. But regardless, that shit is over, all right? You should let it go. They together. They gonna be together. Okay, I ain't letting shit go. And you know what? You could take your ass home. I didn't even invite you. Why? And yes, you did. You called me. So you did invite me. And we're just talking. You can't have a conversation? No. I think you should leave. Mm-hmm. Come on, Belinda. You know you want me to stay. Why are you playing? Well, um, maybe you can leave after you're done. Mm. Since it's the last time, <coughs> I'm gonna make sure it counts. Yeah. yeah. It's the last time. You know that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> you made up quick. <laughs> okay, this is not working. Oh. Oh. Well, Fatima got on headphones and they rocking it to the point that she still can't even get any sleep. You ever been in that situation? No. Where somebody's in the next room just going nuts and you just want to just lay down and go to sleep? I always lived alone, so no. no. Okay. But not like even while you were visiting somebody? No. Everybody's had this situation happen. Well, I guess we got different types of friends. I guess so. Not damn. even at any of those parties you used to go to when you were like 22? No. no. I'm a horse. This girl have <clears throat> sex with horses and won't have sex with Bryce. <laughs> Lord. <laughs> Lord. <laughs> we're taking the doctor so fucking long, man. You can't take it, can you? Man, nigga. You just always gotta be high. Man, I'm here for mama. But you wouldn't know nothing about that. He was never there. <sighs> whatever. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, what, what, what was you when she fell down the stairs and, and, and the project hallways and everybody laughing at us and shit? You know what I'm saying? I was embarrassed. No, but you was doing your fucking thing, nigga. Okay, Jeremiah. Yeah, okay. I don't want to hear none of that shit. Yeah, I know, I know. You know what I'm saying? The only thing you want to do is pull up in your nice calls and shit and talk about what you got. You know what I'm saying? You ain't concerned about us, nigga. You don't know how we got here. You say that shit like, well, I don't even understand you. Whatever, John Ma, you win. Yeah, I say that shit because you wasn't there. You say that like I wasn't dealing with the same thing. Not like me. All right, Jeremiah, you win. Okay, you win the most fucked up life sweepstakes. All right, thank you. Thank you for helping me and mom. All right, thank you for keeping me locked up. And thank you for keeping her fucking high as shit, just like you. You win. All right, enough, enough, enough. I'm not saying shit. He keep talking to me. All I'm right, minding my not business. Talking to you. Well, you better hope she all right. Whatever. Yeah. What a bathroom, man. I gotta go to the bathroom. Just, yo, just own it, bro. Just own it. You gonna get high. That's my fucking business. Bro, you... So you can't not get high for 10 minutes while your mom is laying in there dying from the same shit that you do all the time? Man, fuck you. Well, fuck yourself. You fucking pathetic. No, I'm gonna find a doctor. Why don't you just own it? Just say you going to get high. <laughs> yeah. Oh, come on. Shit. Mm. Oh, oh, shit. Oh. Yo, cover up, man. Oh, my bad. Go ahead. Um, you good? Can I? This yeah. is Tyler's make good on, on, on a scene from three uh, scenes ago. Yeah. Yes, yeah. go. Sorry, sorry. Mm-hmm. Sorry. Yeah, go ahead. But wasn't she laying in bed a, a while ago? And now she got on shoes and, and gym clothes. Somehow, I think I it seems like I remember her. Yeah, she was in bed. You're right. She was like under. She the was cover. laying. She was laying in bed with the uh, earphones. Yeah. Right, right. Like what? Okay. Maybe she's going for another jog. In the yeah. same jog. Okay, whatever. Yeah, maybe. Cause she Ooh. she didn't get them split <laughs> last time. Hey, girl. What the hell? Oh. What? He needed a water break. <laughs> Angela, what are you even doing up this late? I'm about to go for a drive. See? Oh, uh, we keeping you up? 
No, I just think y'all need a little more time. I was being loud. Yeah, and I see why. Mm. Damn. Girl, yes. Ah, <laughs> uh, well, where you going? I'm going to Zach's. Uh-oh. What? Uh, you sure? Yeah, I, I think. Please don't let this be. Bitch, I'm not sure about anything right now. Uh, okay. What? Uh, no, honestly, I'm glad. Mm-hmm. No, honestly, I'm glad you're going to see Zach. Mm-hmm. Go on and enjoy that. Oh, I did. <laughs> well, enjoy some more. I'm going. Okay, I think I will. Bye, girl. Be safe. All right. I'm coming. Hey. Hey. What's up? Listen, I'm gonna need you to get down to the hospital. Why? What happened? Zach's mom, she OD. Ah, oh, shit, are you serious? I can't keep him and his brother off each other right now. They fighting like animals in this hospital. Damn, you're always something. Zach just went to the bathroom looking for Jeremiah because I know he's getting high. So you know when he get back, all hell is gonna break loose. All right, I'm on my way. Listen. Call Nathan. No, Zach don't want to see that man right now. I don't give a fuck. I'm trying to keep him calm. Could you please call him? I'm telling you, he don't want to see that man, yo. I'm telling you. All right, all right. I'll call him. Nasty. Here we go. Make do part two. <laughs> Hello? Hello? Excuse me, nigga. Hey. Hello? I better not be no pig. Hey, it's Tony. Shut up. Yo. What are you, what are you, what are you doing over there? What's going on? This better be good. Yo, Zach's in the hospital. What? What happened? His mom OD'd. Yo, Miss Gladys is in the hospital? Yeah, man. Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah, I know. Look, Connie just called me. She said for us to come over. OK, OK, all right, all right. Now, nah, I'm about to head over there right now. You know what? Text me when you get down there and let me know where you are. All right, bet. As soon as she texts me, I'll text you. Damn. Nigga, what's wrong with you? Zach's mama OD. His mama? Yeah. Damn. OK, we, I got to go with you. We got to hurry up. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Where are you going? With you. <laughs> Why? Nigga, I get to be there for you. Girl, I don't even know you like that. Nigga, I'm going, OK? Yo, Shit. no, you don't need to come, man. You already know that stunt, after that stunt you pulled? Mm -mm. Hurry Thank up. You. This is not, this is not the time. I don't give a fuck. I'm going with you to the hospital. You can't come you in, so me. I don't I'm know why you're getting dressed. I'm coming with you. Come on, shit. You can finish putting that shit on in the car. Look, just drop me off, okay? I'm coming. I'm coming. This nigga's not in the bathroom. You see? Yeah. You know Jeremiah been jealous of you since day one, since we was little ass kids, you know that. Jealous of me, why? I really gotta tell you that, Zach? Enlighten me, cause I don't, my life is shitty. It's not shitty, look at your brother, look at his life. Look at your <laughs> mother. Like right now, you need to be real thankful that you not neither one of them. I mean, you come back from being locked up, you land right on your feet, you get a job at the airport, and you come up. Connie, after all this time, it's like, she's 51 years old. Her heart can't take no more, more than that. I know she's gonna blame me for this shit too. Yes, as long as I known you, she been doing this. Don't matter, man. Everything is my fault. It's not your fault. I don't care no more. You do care. Zach, I gotta get back to my kids. I gotta take them to school in the morning. Take my car. Oh! You sure? Yeah. Hi. Right. Just do me a favor. Um, stop by my house. I know I left my door open. See? I left in a rush. Oh, Just see. Checking yeah. for me? Of course. I'll be back after. Connie, I appreciate you. He shouldn't be doing that. I got you. Pause it. I know.
There is nothing wrong with that. And the matter if you're watching, there's nothing wrong with that scene right there. No. And I want to uh, just <laughs> just to backtrack with uh, Tony. Tony shouldn't have called. Tony shouldn't have called Nathan like Connie wanted. He he should have just came there himself. Cause t- like like I said, in this next scene, when Tony gets there, we're gonna see. Tony is not the one who's the goofy one. It's really just Nathan. When they're all together, they're friends and they're knuckleheads. But as individuals, Tony, he really has his stuff together when you think about it. And he's really the arbitrator of this of the next scene. Go ahead. Okay. Should not be should not be hugging my mom like that. Get her off the wall. Get out of here with that. She wants his mom in that. His mom in there is dying. Get she, out of here. She wants some Zach. She wants to ride. Oh the my! She is not thinking about that no more. She, oh, already, oh, she not, has not, already not, said. She has been, already. She has already said that to other to multiple people that Zach is only thinking about uh, Fatima. She has okay. said that already. If, if offered the Zach snack right now, right now, you think that she wouldn't go for it? You just a woman. We assume, and until it happens, it's like we don't know. No, you probably right. Oh shit! Now this yeah. is not making no, no sense. Why would Belinda go to the hospital? Exactly, exactly. Oh wait a minute. Here, I like I like this particular comment, <laughs> Daryl. You might be right. Who? who hold on, let me go over to this about one. what though? Uh, what? It don't matter. Whatever I might be right about, oh. Daryl. You might be right. This might. This might be there to get back uh, the Zach, uh, the Satima and Zach theory. Or could, Con- you know what? Connie being there is just going to really appear to mess everything up. But then they're going to talk. Fatima's probably going to threaten to kill her. This is part of how it's going to go down. Fatima is going to threaten to shoot her in the head. Connie is going to be like, whoa, 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 Fatima. Calm down. Zach's mother is in the hospital and I just stopped. And she's not going to be trying to hear it. But when she finally does hear it. She's gonna rush back on over there to the hospital. Fatima will. I think Fatima, her feelings would be hurt, but she ain't gotta let the stand on there be demanding anything because they're they're not together. So but she, she don't have to let the stand on. She's still gonna do it. I don't think she's in it. I don't think she's in that frame of mind right now. So you think right what now. she? What do you think she's gonna do when she sees her? I don't know, but it's not that because. Right now, she, I don't know what, she doesn't even know what she wants right now, but she knows that they're not together. All right. She knows they're not together, so. So you don't think Come she's going to kill her? I don't know. All right. Well, let's, let's, let's find out. Connie Hood, though. Well, this is good. Yeah, Connie. Yeah. Yeah. She's good. Yeah. 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 Don't do it, Fatima. Don't do it. He has not learned a lesson. He has learned a lesson. Pause it. Pause it. Here we go. She's still saying he has not learned a lesson. Mm -hmm. So once again, this this is still about payback, Fatima? Like, really? Like, are you still trying to teach him a freaking lesson? He got to learn his lesson before he so he can be justified in, in being with Fatima. That's all I wanted to point out. Is she, she's being very petty right now. He still hasn't learned. As lesson. are you, because you don't she's understand. Very, she's, she, I, I do understand. I understand it clearly, but come on now. Come on now. She, she, she's being petty. Come on. She need to let that shit go. She need to let it go. Call her. Welcome to Perry Ness. What's going on, Daryl? Jeff? Hey. It's Al again. Al. Yeah. Tell Jeff about himself, please. All right, so pretty much what I was saying um, about you might be right is that that theory that you had with Fatima and uh, Zach getting back together, yeah. it seemed like this is going to be the pivotal point yeah. right here. I'm predicting it, but, um, but but wait, before you go on, is Fatima going to threaten to to kill Connie? Is that her name, Connie? No, I think it was texted on the uh, comment. I didn't want to like say all that, but I think what, what the, how it's going to play out is that um, – like, for instance, when they were fighting, I don't know if y'all saw it, uh, Connie was grabbing and holding onto Zach like she was like she was caressing him. 
instead of pushing him back. And she was just cussing out the brother. And then uh, even when they were sitting there before she took his keys, she was rubbing on his thighs, on his back. I don't know if y'all seen all that stuff. So if he did, that's all I'm saying, at at his lowest point, he probably would have jumped his bones, if anything. Um, Moving forward from that, she's going to the house now, and Fatima's probably outside. So when she see her pull up, she might jump out, or she might call Paul back. So it's it's two flip sides right there. Mm. She might either, she might jump out of the car, ask questions with anger, or she might say, you know what, I don't have time for this. He's clearly doing the same thing that he claimed he wasn't doing anymore. And after she might take off, call Paul, and then Paul is going to get what he wants. That's Remember actually a good point. He was on the swing. Uh, now so, I'm wondering which one of those is going to be. Three phrases right there play, play in hand. So I don't know. That's 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 where that's laying at right now. So we have to just see where that's going to actually uh, play out. But I do hope that she get out the car and actually go after Connie. And then she'll probably find the truth. And then that will probably bring her back to Zach. Or if she don't do that and she gets in her feelings, like Jeff was saying, she's still uh, with that blame game, um, then he's going to definitely call Paul and after they're going to be doing something. All right. So I got you. We'll see. I, I, I think it's on the, on the right path. I think that it will be one of those two things. Yeah. I had not even considered her looking at that and then just driving off and, and, and calling old boy, though. I had not considered that. That's a good one. Yeah, because he already made he already made it clear he wants it. Oh, he's made it real made clear. clear. Yeah, so, and he already said, it's going to be a time that you're going to call me in. And, and I'm hey. going to answer. Exactly. Yeah. And it might be for that. Yep, yep. As Matthew just said, we know Connie has motives. Of course she got motives. Yeah, she does have motives. She does have I think she's the one that called <laughs> his mom to the hospital. Um, Al, before you go, quick question. Why do women like Fatima? No, 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 no. Okay, no, no. I'll just, I got I, I, I got a, I got a fresh, listen. You, you didn't have to, you didn't have to listen, listen let, let him answer, let him answer. Why do women oh, like, like Fatima look, look for comfort, look, look, look for comfort from another guy? When they have girlfriends that they can talk to, this, this, why do they like being around guys as opposed to women, other women? Why, why is that? All right, so I'm going to be honest with you. See, uh, the reason why women do that is because they know what they have between their legs already. All right, so what I would say about that is that in Fatima uh, structure, she should have never called back Paul. Uh, so she already knows she was using him to begin with. Um, women, uh, in general, let me let me tell topic. Uh, as far as what your topic was, uh, why do women do that? Women do that because it's a security plan. Um, they pretty much mm-hmm. use that as a rebound to to actually get what they want. But at the same time, if they see that it wasn't going in their favor, they'll say, "Okay, I'll just pull back." You know. But if if the person's hitting all the right set marks for them and stuff like that, they'll continue uh, playing that playing that role for you until whoever gets what they want get what they want. But women women do that because they have that uh, sexual access. Um, as far as male males have to work for it, women already have it built in where they can get it. So you can call they can call twenty guys, and the twenty guys that they call. Um, None of them are gonna say no. That's gonna right. Say yeah. <laughs> but but right. so but they're not really looking for a friend. It's more they like that sexual no, attention. Not, I, that that, that sexual that. attention, right? Yeah, they want that attention. They want that. They want that. That wants to be wanted. They want that feel to be wanted. Mm-hmm. Uh, they 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 want to be uh mentally held in in that person's vision of how they're speaking to them, like what. Uh, Paul was doing to her. She she liked that kind of stuff. That's what she wanted, you know. She wants that kind of feeling. She she wants to feel that feel that need. And then as soon as uh, she started talking about Zach, when he started talking about Zach to her, she's like, "Wait a minute! Now you done gave yourself a big red X. Now why the fuck you looking his name up for? You know what I mean? I called you. Like, <clears throat> so right there again, he played his card wrong, Paul. So now he's in the <laughs> He's in the doghouse again. <laughs> but yeah, women, women if, if, if they do have a problem, they should never call a guy. 
because the guys is going to look for an easy way to get sexual access. Now. Uh, um, this is a great point. This um, is an amazing point. Um, uh, female, females should call females, and they shouldn't call females that are single. They should call females that have relationships. <laughs> and the reason why I say that is because, uh, because if you if you if you if you tie in uh, a person with a relationship with a single person. That person often always is going to talk about, oh well, you know, you got to do what's best for you, baby. You gotta, uh, you gotta go out there and, uh, and do this and that, you know, because she has a single mindset. But if she talks to someone in a relationship, they will tell her, oh, you know, you can go to counseling, you can do this, you can go there, you know, mm-hmm. go home and reflect what happened, you know, instead of just always trying to run up on her and stuff like that. So you know, things like that, you know, it's a different mindset with different people. Um, so that's. Pretty much what I had to say about that. Thank you, sir. All right. All right. Appreciate it. Did I answer your question, sir? Yeah, you did. And I appreciate you it. Did. You did. All right. All right. Bye. Uh, All right. Bye. There are a bunch of different shows out there, Jeff, that do these reviews of Tyler Perry shows. Uh huh. How many of them take your phone calls live on air? None of them. The the of the the great old fashioned. Phone dial up. You can call in and get you your voice. Call from a, you could even call from a rotary phone if you got one. Oh my goodness. Yes, you could. You, you could. could. You can't find us no wells. 704-937-1430 Perry necessary. We're the only ones doing this. Only ones. Now, after this though, people will start doing it. So don't worry. If you have a different Tyler Perry style review show that you like to listen to, don't worry. Because they will be copying off of me and Jeff soon, and they will, but they don't even know how this is done. They they they're gonna watch this and they're gonna be like, "How in the hell are they doing that?" They'll somehow <laughs> figure it out. They might write me letters and try to ask me to teach them how this is all done. How do you pipe? How do you have a real regular phone number that you're piping into the show? Well, I'm not gonna tell them, but eventually they'll probably figure it out, and they will be doing it yeah. soon. So don't worry. Yeah. All right, let's go back to this. <clears throat> I, I got a phone. I'm going home. I'm not doing this. I'm not doing this. Someone's about to pull up. How did she not see her actually pull up? No, that's uh, the neighbor. Uh-huh. Oh. Got your ass now. Mm-hmm. Yep, got your ass. Too I late. Got an ambulance. Yeah. Uh, Man, ain't shit wrong with your ass. Shut up. Mm-hmm. Gotcha, bitch. You better drop that damn lawsuit. I will not drop that damn lawsuit. All right, cool. I got all the proof I need. Okay, that's fine. And I'm still going to sue your country I'd just be like, oh, you know what? Um, Madam. And walk away. <laughs> Do that. I will. And I'm sending my cousin over here, oh. too, to pay you a little Whoa. visit. Oh, come on. You don't have to send Madam over oh, here. Oh, too late. She's coming. Okay, fine. Do what you got to do, boo. Oh, come on. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I will. Uh, you know what? What you need to be doing is checking your damn man. Deja? Yeah, uh, Deja. Let me tell no, you something. No, let me tell you something. I saw him leave here about an hour ago with some big titty bitch with green hair. Yeah, I think he called her Connie. Does that sound Whoa. familiar to you? <laughs> you better drop that damn And you suit. better check your nigga. Whatever. No, ain't no whatever. I saw him. They was all hugged up and shit. I got pictures. You want to see? Yeah, I do. Oh, you think I'm bullshit. Because you always bullshit. Oh, I'm not bullshit. Let me see. Oh, come on. Let me see. Mm. Look. Is that your man or no? Is that your nigga or no? All right. I got it. Mm. <laughs> so fucking stupid. Uh, what the uh, fuck? Oh, girl, I think she got on your blouse. <laughs> oh, we have just finished part one. Jeff, we are an hour and, what, 15, an hour and 19 minutes of this, and we only done. I'm We've loving got- it. Did you oh, catch what Connie kind of at the end said, oh, I, I think she got on your blouse. Uh-huh. <laughs> I think she got on your blouse. Now, I don't know how this is going to go, but unless you have any other objections, I say we just get right into it. Let's go. Let's go. Episode 18. Yeah. She overdosed on fentanyl. Can I see her? Your mother is in there fighting for her life, and this is what y'all doing out here? Previously on Zatima. I'm just saying, Zach is all about Fatima, and Fatima is all about Zach. Let's do this now, like I'm ready for you now. Like, let's actually do this. Is that your man or no? Stupid. 
What the fuck? What the fuck? Oh, girl, I think she got on your blouse. Anyway, Fatima, I came up here to turn on the alarm. Your man asked me to do it. Did he tell you about me? Oh, she already know about you. Deja, take your ass in the house. And I just want to make sure that everything goes Throw your ass in the house, girl. Uh, okay, rude. Oh, this is about to be some okay, grown woman stuff going on here. Anyway, yeah, he told me to come up here and turn on the alarm. Go in the house. Why are you still out here for? Getting some fresh air. Deja. We both ready to fuck you up and right. stomp you like a little roach. You better ask about her. I sue bitches, OK? Ain't that right, Fatima girl? Oh, Take your ass in the house. Sue who? I'm on Section 8. I got three kids, and I got a record. Oh, fuck are you suing me for? OK, but before I go, just so you know, this is a nice Deja. This is a nice neighborhood. So don't be bringing all that Section 8 bullshit over here. <laughs> no okay? doubt. You kicked out of better places. <laughs> what the fuck are you doing here? He asked me to turn on the alarm. Mm. He's at the hospital. What? The hospital? Yeah. For what? Yo, his mom OD'd. Wait, his mother OD'd? Is yes. she OK? No, she ain't all right. Why do you think I'm here for? All right. Wow. Are they about to, now, is Fatima going to, like, really be grown up here and, and, and do the it, right it thing? It seems so. It seems so. It's uh, Fatima sees that Akani is telling the truth, and now she's like, oh, okay. Yeah. I think that they're about to actually, they're probably going to ride back together. You think they're going to ride back together? Well, no, or no. Remember, Connie has to go. Oh, that's right. That's right. All right, let's see. Didn't ask me to come there. So what? In the last time. So he asked me to come here to turn on the alarm. Yeah, you should go to the hospital. He didn't ask me to come there. So what? And the last time I was there, he wanted you there. <laughs> yeah, oh, was... she's going to get there, and Belinda is going to be there. Oh, man, that's when it's going to get good. There, because I know his family. Mm, yeah. I've been his friend for years. I know his mother. That's why I was there. Yeah, you're not just his friend. It's more than that from what I heard. All right, we fucked a little bit. Yeah, a so, lot of times. We was young, girl. Mm. Get over that. He wants you there, so why don't you go? Apparently he doesn't because he had you there. Girl, men say shit all the time. He don't mean it. He told you to leave. He wants you to stay. Just go. Look, if he wants me there, he'll call me. Girl, that's y'all business. All I know is he got a bunch of exes that he could be sexing, and he's not. You know what I know what he doing? He fucking on that little nasty toy upstairs. The side chick. Toy? Yes, yeah, a toy. He was all the way upstairs? Yeah, because I was looking for the alarm. And I seen it on the bed, and what he doing to that thing is nasty. He's checking for you. He don't care about nobody else. Know that. Are you done? My nigga, I'm finished. Are you ready to go to the hospital? No, I'm not. OK. Well, I'm going to leave. I got kids I got to drop off and do other shit, and I got to drop his car off. So we done. Do that. You going to turn off the alarm and do everything? I got it. <clears throat> Make your way there, seriously. Connie, just go. What's your critique of Fatima handling this particular situation? Do you think that? Uh, she handled it well. For someone who was blindsided, who was, she handled it well. Um, all of that high school shit, once again, what, obviously, she, she Fatima just acknowledged that uh Connie knows Zach from when they were teens. Kids, get out of here. You know what I mean? She's having sex with they were having sex with each other when they were teens on the block. So come on now. You know it wasn't recent, it was back in the day, so she needs to get over that part. But uh uh Fatima handled it well. She did. Connie is being honest and transparent. I think right there she absolutely was. It was that was a very cool scene. Fatima compared to the way Fatima normally jumps off, if somebody ha has not been watching this show and they just looked at this, they might look at it and be like, damn, Fatima's irrational. You know, some of people who have been watching the show say that. Um, but if you've been watching it for a while and you know how Fatima can pop off, I think that she was doing everything that she could to just keep herself in line right here because, you know, the normal Fatima would just go bananas. She's not trying to hear anything anybody says. Yeah.
Yo. What's up, man? Sure. Yeah. How's she doing? How'd you know I was here? Oh, well, Connie called me. She told me. How's she doing? Just waiting on the doctor. Did he say anything? Nothing more than it's not looking good. Damn, bro. What you expect, right? This is how these things go. Yeah, but bro, <clears throat> that don't make it any easier, right? I mean, I'm sorry about all of this, man. It's only a matter of time, Tony. Damn, that's tough. Man. If you need anything, man, I got you, all right? Good, bro. Thanks. Nah, mm. bro, you shouldn't have to do this alone, all right? Good. Good. Really am. Zach, you don't seem good, man. It's just my life. Up, down. Up, down. But you don't have to go through it alone, all right? I got you, bro. Yeah, hey, what's up, Tony? Yo, what's up, man? He told you what happened, huh? Yeah, he did. He told you he tried to kill him, huh? Come on, man. He ain't do that, bro. And he gave him $500. Jeremiah, do you hear yourself? Like, what are you talking about, man? Man, listen, bro. He know damn well he wasn't supposed to give my mom no money. Okay, well, now he's going into the point where <laughs> Even though I kind of understand what he's saying, he, you don't press this particular point. You're dealing with parents and death, and you know. But also, he's hurting too, so it's hard to. It, it really is hard yeah. to not. You know, this is a situation I don't, never want to be in. No situation like this. Mm -hmm. But um, what does that mean? So just let him talk. That's all he's good at doing. He's trying to help, but giving him five hundred dollars is helping him, man. What else is that? Bro, listen, bro. This dude is fucked up, bro. That nigga hate us, bro. He uh, want my mama dead. Yo, Jeremiah, don't say that, all right? Yeah. He know. You know I could stomp your base head out, and you won't even be able to get up, so you might want to chill the fuck out. Yo, y'all both just need to chill out, all right? We'll do it. You have been to kill both of us in the same week. Yo, don't She's say that. Ted, you fucking asshole. Oh, she did. You killed her. That's all you Man. did. You did it. Yo, Jeremiah. She's still with us, right? Look, uh, Jeremiah, um, how about we uh I go buy you some coffee? Nigga, hey, coffee ain't gonna make my mama better. No, but it'll sober you up. I don't want no fucking coffee. Um, all right, uh, you hungry? No, I don't. I want to sit right here and watch that nigga. You know what I'm saying? I want, I want him to see what the fuck he did. Uh, Zach, let's hit the cafeteria. We'll grab some grub, man. You ain't eat all day, I'm sure. Gotta wait for the doctors. I'm the only responsible one here. You know? Yo, this ain't a good look, fellas. I'm not moving. Well, then let's just sit here in silence and stop all the back and forth bickering, all right? You get no complaints out of me. You're gonna be nodding off any minute anyway. Yeah, nigga, fuck you. Guess what? That was amazing. I know, right? <laughs> mm. Yeah, uh, you understood the assignment. I always do. Mm, a plus. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so can I come by tonight? Um. Uh, come on. Mm. <laughs> oh, uh, look, you must really be feeling me, huh? You know I am. Okay, okay, um, I'll call you about tonight. I thought it was nice. Okay. Oh. Whoa. Hey. Hey. Do I, oh, this I is the next one. No, no, yeah, just listen, pause it, pause it. Okay, when you at somebody else's house, parents' house, brother's house, door do you swing open without fucking knocking especially when you know she had company your best friends yo bet you swing open a bedroom door without knocking first when you know she has company of a man 
Well, you're probably not thinking about the color. No, I don't want to hear that mess. That's your best friend. Crap. You, have a, no. you have a best friend. Your, you best, friend, your best friend can't hey, just, yeah. just Don't just nobody swing room. open my... No, this is not the Cosby... No, don't nobody swing open the door without knocking. Do you lock bedroom? your door? When you, do you lock your bedroom door? Well, first of all, don't nobody come in my house like that, and I'm not going to be in my bedroom if I got company, but what, once again, ain't nobody going to be walking in my bedroom without knocking. I don't know what kind of Lucy Goose stuff you you into, uh, Sir Darrell, but no, no. This is her best no. friend. This is just the way it don't matter. But she you're knew she had tripping. company. You're tripping. She knew she had you tripping. You tripping. She knew she had company. She forgot. Oh, she forgot. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. Let's look at this again. Let's let's let, no let see. Let's look at this again. Let's see how how this she went. She forgot. Okay. Um, she was she was in the you. middle of talking about something. She didn't like open the door. So you acknowledge that she heard that she was having a conversation with somebody. So Fatima no, no, knew no. somebody was in there. No, no. no, no. She, you just said that saying. she was having a conversation. You just said I, that. No, 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 no. Let me see. Let me, <laughs> don't no. try and double talk. You're going to double talk. I'm not trying to double speak. I'm not trying to double speak. Okay. Whatever, whatever. What, what I said was Fatima was already talking when she opened the door. She was in her own world. She wasn't paying attention to her friend. She was just, okay. you know, it'd be like, I'm just like, hey, Jeff, we need to hurry up and do that show. Whoa, what did I stumble on? You know, I'm on mid sentence when you when I open your bedroom door and march in. Okay. That's what I'm saying. All right. So. That's me. Nice. She okay. did knock. <laughs> After it was open, when did she rewind it? When did she knock? One of them knock opens. I'm ready. I'm dressed. I'm decent. Come on. When, when did she knock? When did she knock? When did she knock? As she was opening the door, did you not hear? Okay. The knock? Okay. So yeah. Okay. Turn the volume up so you can hear the no, knock. No, no, no. Yeah, I heard the tap, the tap, but there was no response. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, I'll call you. That's me. <laughs> Okay. Oh. Hey. Hey. Do I I need to come? No, back? no, he was just leaving. Okay. Hi, Fatima. <laughs> How you doing? I'm good. Mm -hmm. I'll see y'all later. Ooh. Hey girl. Uh <laughs> hey. How was your night? Well, obviously not as good as yours. Mm, that's for sure. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> well, look, girl, I just came to tell you I'm going into work early today. Girl, why? Well, Zach's mom is in the hospital. What? Yeah, she OD'd. Shit. I know. Wait, so then you go into the hospital? Uh, no. Why not? Angela, you remember what he did last time? Girl, look, this could be serious. You need to go. No, I'm not putting myself through that again. Fatima, I know you're trying to protect yourself, but he's not gonna do that again. Okay. Well, I'm not going to take that chance, Angela. Look, I know you. Look, I just, I can't do that. Because if he does it again, I'm not going to come back from that. I know. All right, so I'm just going to go to work, and that's that. Fatima, girl, he's going to need you there. He's going to need you with him. Angela, you don't think this is killing me not being there for him? It is, but if he doesn't call me and personally ask me to come, I'm not going. I'm just gonna go to work and try to keep my mind off all this. And you sure that's what you want? Yes. Okay, okay. All right, I'm gonna go. I know you are going back to bed, so I'll see you later. Oof, yes, I need some rest. <laughs> all right. Bye, girl. Bye, girl. Always, <sighs> see my fucking life. Always, bro. Yo, what? Nah, man. Girl. Connie told me to call him, yo. He brings her? I, I'm gonna talk to him, bro. Hey, man. I got her as fast as I could. How's Miss Gladys doing? What are you doing, bro? I ain't wanna bring her. No, it's the fuck on my face, yo. Look, I just came to see if you were okay. I'll be good when you leave. Zach, I know I did some real fucked up hey, shit. Hey, hey, you know hey. What? I, 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 hey, man, I didn't even put all of this together. I'm tripping. I didn't put together that she wanted to be there so bad because she, because it was Zach. I, I I don't know. Like I had forgotten about the past and the fact that these people seem to who fall for Zach seem to really fall for Zach. She probably really wants Zach herself. 
Yeah, they just we just talked about that. No, but I'm saying like the the concept of her saying I'm 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 going with you. I'm going with you. I'm going with you. Like I just wasn't putting all of that part together. I thought it was weird that she was talking about going. I didn't even grasp why she was trying to go. Now I do see. That's all I'm saying. You got another person that missed the boat, the the Zach train. I was like, that should have been me. Yeah. So you think that all of this time with breaking her and uh, uh, Fatima and Zach up, you think she was trying to make a way for herself to slide back in there? Because now she sees success. Huh? Now she sees Zach's success, so she's looking at Uh Zach. Yeah. And and she... First, on one hand, she's telling Nathan, who's trash also, because he was there for all that trash talking. I thought, I thought she, I thought uh, she really didn't like uh, Fatima, but she said she hates Zach with a passion. But now she's there all love and light. So, yeah, yeah, I'm seeing things clearly now. Hey. This ain't your bullshit podcast, okay? We don't have time for your nonsense. <laughs> Look, I was trying to tell her that. But you still decided to bring him? My car wouldn't start, right? So I just hit her up for a ride. Nathaniel, what were you thinking, bro? You could have called the ride share. You could have called me anything but brought her here, man. Okay, okay. Look, you made your point, Tony. All right? Look, hey, Belinda, this is a family matter, all right? So you can bounce. We don't need you here. No. I'm not going nowhere. Don't, shh, don't, shh, anyway, don't make a scene. Shut up. Zach, where is Fatima? She should be here with you. Yo, you better get her, like, real talk. Like, Nate, get her out of here, bro. Yo, this ain't your fucking barbershop, okay? This is a free country. I ain't going nowhere. Let me ask you something. Why are you doing all this nonsense? What, it surprised you that I care about Zach? All the fucked up shit you did? My mother's in there fucking dying. You just here for the spectacle, man. Get the fuck out my face. Oh, Belinda, come on. This ain't cool. You need to go. Zach, I didn't mean no harm. Yo, get the fuck out my face, Belinda. Go! Belinda. Oh, man. Damn. Belinda, you can go now. Yo, go, Belinda. Fuck you, Tony. Bye. You can go too, bro. Nah, hey, man, I'm your boy, yo. Miss Gladys, but yo, yo, both of us, man. Like, Nate. I'm ten toes down. Nate, Nate, look at me. Give it a minute, all right? Mm. Well, son? Give him some time. Give it a minute, all right? I love you, bro. I love you too, man. I'm just, just fall back and I'm just chill. All right. All right. Not, not now. It's all right. It's all right. Locked in forever, man. It's all right, bro. You locked in forever. It's still being goofy. What the fuck you do that for? Why is, is she the still there? What you could do? Pause it. Pause it. All right, so we. We gotta break down a few things. The one thing, what can, can we give it up for? Uh, for Tony being being the arbitrator, yeah. pulling in the essence, pulling in the essence of James Evans from Good Times, being yeah. the, being the figure with the common sense. He he was doing it. And, you know, He's, all um, He's doing that. He was pulling together, and so often, like I, like I told you before, I always pegged him as being one of uh uh one of the goofy friends because when they're together, they are kind of goofy. But it's really Nate is the only uh, nut that hasn't grown up. Yeah, you know what I mean. I don't know why. What's the name is still there? Uh, uh, Belinda. Uh, that's Belinda. Yeah, I don't know why she's still there. It's like it's crazy. I I don't see what what incentive. What like she wants to that she want to be there for when um what's the name gets there. Uh, Fatima, I don't, I don't know. She doesn't even know Fatima's know. coming. She must seriously have in her brain that, in some sense, Zach is going to quickly snap out of this. Like this is, this is crazy. I don't know. All that right. make any sense. That's what. Yeah. Come on, bro. You always in some fucking drama, like a bro, bro. Yo, go ahead with it's that, like bro. Shut the fuck up. Nah, we ain't doing that. Whatever the fuck I said. Where the dog that, man? I'm going to see the dog. Just chill, bro. Just chill. Man, shut up, man. Look, look. Need another fix already? Fuck mm-hmm. you. Nah, just let him go, bro. So all you want to do is get high. You came in here high, you're going to leave high. Yo, Zach, just please, just let him go, because I was ready to snap.
Why? Um, um, pause it. What? What? Okay. Where is Fatima right now? She's at work. Okay, but where? Where at work? Where is she? She's in the meeting room, the conference room. Okay, because I was about to say her office gets bigger and bigger. Like, okay, so that's not her office, right? No, no, that's the conference room. See all them extra chairs? She's at the so that's the, the that's the that's the conference room at the head of the table. But yes. I guess we we can we can no longer mention her boss's name anymore because nope. that will put her on payroll on this. They can't get right. yeah. her to refer to her as boss. That's right. We can't say easy. Andy. That is the same shoot. table that Andy met the wife of the man that she was um doing. I remember. I remember. Yeah. Same office. But, yeah, that's not, okay, that's, now, that now the friend is always. Go ahead. No, I'm just saying Angela is, seems to always meet there, but we never see our sisters. We never see our but, sisters, though. She never seems to make her way around. And Fatima have a lot of free time at work. A lot of free time. She never has to deal with her boss at all on this show. Never. Not but checking she runs in. Into Angela constantly. Runs into Angela constantly. You know, she's not checking in, getting coffee for nobody. Nope. Got her own business meetings. Yeah, she's <laughs> she's in charge on this show. She ain't no damn okay. secretary. It doesn't look like it. I've never seen a secretary act this much like an executive. And, and like and a lot of times, from what I understand, that the, the interns and the they do have shared offices, cubbies. You don't get your own, like when your shift over, somebody else come on from two to ten and, yeah. and take over that desk. She got her own per but okay. Yeah, she's definitely got her own office now. Let's not let's not even we can't even pretend like she doesn't have that. Okay. Yeah. Go for Tima. I ain't mad at you. Damn girl, you did all of this already? Yeah, I've um been here since before the sun came up. <laughs> yeah, I know. What? Did it help? What? Getting all this work done. Did it help? I mean, it took my mind off things for a little bit. Okay, well, I guess that's good. Has he called? No. You know you just need to go up there. That's right. Angela, I told you why. I know, I know. But um, I'm not going to push you. Thank you. But if you need anything, anybody to talk to, some food, all right. I'm right upstairs. Okay. Is Fatima going? still driving that car that um Zach bought her? I don't know. I guess. What so. do you think? Because she I gave she gave so. him a big ring back, right? Huh? Didn't she give him the ring back? She gave the ring back, but I think she's still driving that car. Yeah, yeah. Pretty sure she is. No, that fur. What's what? Bryce. What the hell? Uh, so that's why he been popping up and what popping she in a happy hour outfit girl you better go handle that i mean it's velour and well, wait, 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 pause, it, pause, it, pause it 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 there ain't nothing to handle sweet cakes there yeah, ain't I'm nothing right. to, there, ain't, there ain't nothing to handle so why I'm first of all fatima why are you even to, 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 to gaslighting <laughs> gaslighting her to go over there oh girl you need to get this like a typical Girl, somebody that's miserable, girl, you need to go over there and have it. You know what I mean? If somebody that's miserable, and just because your life fucked up, you want mine fucked up too, girl. You need to go over there and, and handle that. You know what I'm Well, they, they done both moved on. You see what Whoa. she's happy. You see, you see what's the name is happy. Uh, 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 what's her name? Angela. You see Angela's happy moved on. So now you want to gaslight her to go over there. Bryce can't be happy. Bryce can't move on with girl. She's having sex with somebody else. At least you're finally taking up with Bryce. I appreciate that. I'm fine. I always took up with Bryce. No, you did. He got his. He got his medicine. I'm saying Bryce was trying to move past the situation. I don't want to get too deep into that because you knew what I was saying. Bryce was trying to move past things a little too fast, and he got what he deserved. But they're no longer together, so I don't even have to get into that. All right. Well. Ah, Fatima, trash, Fatima. No, no, let's not go crazy. I want to see that again. No, that that was really, really funny. Anything, anybody to talk to, some food. I'm right upstairs. Okay. You might want to handle that first. What's what? Bryce. What, what the hell? What? Uh, so that's why he been popping up. And what 
popping. She in a happy hour outfit. Girl, you better go handle that. I mean, it's velour and Did many. you see she the way she just season. looked directly into the camera? Did you happen to look at that? I didn't, but look, look at this. When when she hugs Bryce, she looks directly into the camera. It's it's typical Tyler. Talk to some food. I'm right upstairs. Okay. You might want to handle that first. What's what? Bryce. What is what? Oh. So that's why he been popping up. And what? <laughs> popping? She in a happy hour outfit. Girl, you better go handle that. I mean, it's velour and mini. She need to pick a season. Wow, Bryce. Wow, Bryce. What are you doing here? I thought you worked upstairs. I do. Oh, okay. What are you doing here? I'm taking a friend out for some food. A friend? Yeah. Who? Why do you care? You don't know her? <laughs> I know everybody in this building. <laughs> okay, well, her name's Lacey. Lacey, the junior attorney? Yeah. I didn't know y'all knew each other. Yeah, we do. How'd you meet? Angela, come on. What? We met online. Okay, and um, she knows what you're into? Yes. There's an app for us. Oh, she into that freaky shit too. All right, come on. Stop with all the judgment. I'm not judging. Yet. Mm, well, maybe I'm just old fashioned. <laughs> old fashioned? Oh, what does old fashioned mean, right, in these days? What does it mean she to be old fashioned? Say she's just saying whatever slips out of her mouth in this moment. She she doesn't even once again she doesn't know what she wants. She doesn't know what she's saying right now. Because old fashioned, just, you don't just call you don't just dial up uh, a penis and 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 have it entering you all night long. And then exactly, make, you know, this is old not, fashioned. Not old fashioned. fashioned. Somebody bring you some candy. Go to the movies. I yawn and put my arm around your shoulder yeah, and some yeah, easy. Well, that's old fashioned. You go to the ice cream joint and sit outside on the step. Yes, yes. That's not, what they, that's not what she did last night. I don't know what that was. She did a lot of things last night and none of it was old fashioned. She's I making think. a fool of herself. A fool yeah. of herself. I don't know about that. What you mean? All the in and out at your house? <laughs> oh, he's in. Wait. Uh, so now you spying on me? No, no, I'm, I'm not. I'm talking about that guy, Angela. Okay, I, I don't see how you're gonna judge me and and just do whatever you want. I, I'm not judging you. Yeah, just whatever. Okay, she's she's coming back. I gotta go. Okay. Oh, but don't you want to introduce us? No. No, it's okay. Bryce. Uh, no, and Angela, I'll, I'll talk to you later. Okay. Oh. Okay. She know everybody in the building. They don't need to be introduced. Exactly. Yes. Yes. I, I'm glad you cut through that BS real quick. You know everybody in the building. Now you want to talk about all of that? Did you introduce us? Get out of here. <laughs> I had such a great time. Thank you for meeting me again. Yeah, and uh, I'll call you. Okay. Okay. I hate these scenes with when on these Tyler Perry shows where they have the the actor or actress that kind of plays in the background and they never get to talk. Like they always just react by shaking their that's, head. I, that's, that's a, well, I, I'm pretty sure she, she doesn't have a speaking role. So she, she gets paid a little less. That's the, those, those, that eighties, 80 sitcom kind of acting skills where you just smile and do one of those. Normally in the eighties, they would never have the camera right on the person. They would, they would just be like kind of walking bag. away. Yeah. Yeah. You're well, right. Tyler, you're right. Can, the focal point of the scene, but they don't talk. So, so annoying. You save a little money. You know, you say Tyler saved himself five bucks. Uh -huh. Let's see it again. I had such a great time. Thank you for meeting me again. Yeah, <coughs> and, uh, I'll call you. Okay. Okay. Oh. Hello. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I know you, right? I don't think so. Yeah. You know Angela. I don't know who you're talking about. Yeah. Look, I'm okay. sorry, but your credit card has been declined. What? Yes. <laughs> you joking me? No. Uh, okay, um, this has got to be some sort of mistake. Okay, let me just give them a call and then I'll work it out. Do you have another card? He's about to call the credit card company and yeah. out. Yeah, I do. 
There you go. Try this one. Okay. Thanks. Yeah. Angela better not be playing no games right now. Hey, Jody. It's Bryce. Uh, why are you being such an asshole? What? I mean, you can, you can see I'm having issues here, okay? So. Well, this awful. this is how I make my money, so I need you to get up. Pause it. All right, I'll just. Okay, what do you think? The why is he? First off, why is he denying knowing Angela? What would be the angle to to, to saying, I don't know you, I I don't know who Angela is. I don't know. Really... Now, yeah. you said that uh, hopefully. Angela's not up to it, but she her reach isn't that high. She can't yeah. have his card and his business freeze their account. So she, you know what I mean? She, she yeah, she her reach isn't that far. She's not gonna be able to do that. And do we know him? Like, was he? We don't. Yeah. Okay. So he, it's just that he knows that he knows her from, I guess, things that didn't happen on the show. I guess I don't think is there more to him that we're not seeing? Is there like? Does he have an angle? Yeah, yeah. He's, I don't being, know. he's being real. He's being real shady right now. And ridiculously no shady, like nonsensically shady. Hmm, I don't That's know. a little. Right. He's being annoyingly shady. Yeah. Somebody said Angela's puppies were sitting up nicely. We got. <laughs> we, we. I know that was from a long time ago. <laughs> I didn't see that. I was a while. Who said? Oh, it was a while ago. Who said that? Yeah, that was a while ago. I don't know. I can't. I can't see it. Okay. All right. Wait. I know. Uh, Matthew said it. Oh. <laughs> All right, yo. Let's go back. Go wait by the bar. No, 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 no. Not at the bar, sir. All right. I'll wait. I'll wait by here. Here by the stairs, then. Nope. Um. Might just walk right out of here. So. Dude, are you serious? Yes. I need you to stand back there. Okay, you gotta be kidding me. No. Why can't he wait at the know. bar? Shit! Thank you. Hey, Zach. Zach, it's Bryce. Um, call me back as soon as you get this. We got a huge problem. The, the company money's been frozen for some reason, and they're not telling me why, so just call me back as soon as you get this message. Thanks. Okay, wait. Bye. So he was trying to pay with the company credit card? On this date of his, is that we? Is that what we? Well, I think initially he used his personal card, and then he went to the uh, company card because okay. that was the second card he used. So he All probably right. used his, his personal card, and then he went to the company card. And that's All when right. he found out. Yeah. Let's hope that's that's the case. Otherwise, I'm pissed. But either way, Rosa. Hello? Hey, Fatima. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's Bryce. Hey, Bryce, what's up? Do you know where Zach is? Um, he's actually dealing with a family situation right now. Okay, um, I really need to get a hold of him. He's not answering his phone. Um, okay, well, I don't know what to tell you. Can you call him for me, please? I told you he's dealing with a situation right now, Bryce. Okay, okay, okay. Can you just, um, just tell him to call me. Tell him it's really important, okay? want to tell me what this is about no no no. I, I have to tell myself okay well i am sure he will get your message okay okay thank you thanks for teaming hey Bryce, i gotta no. go i got another call coming through okay bye hello you know you should be there with him who is this connie how did you get this number because I'm in Zach's car. This fancy-ass car called you, but I wanted to see... Look, honey, I don't know you like this. You know he got a whole separate phone in his car. And when I tried to call you, I said, call Fatima. Nothing happened. Then I said, call the woman of my life. Nothing happened. But when I said, call the love of my life, you know it calls you, girl. Connie, what do you want? Are you at the hospital? <clears throat> no, I'm not. Fatima, come on. You're doing too much. You don't know me like that. So, I don't like, I don't like, like how she's talking to you. And I love him. Yeah, well, fuck your family. Ooh. 
but you like that? Was ugly. You didn't have to say that. I mean, it was a response. But but you like that though. Well, I'm I understood that. Oh, okay. I understood it. Let's, let's listen to it again in context. Not too much. You don't know me like that. So Zach is like my family, and I love him. Yeah, well, fuck your family. Ooh. But see, man, I was ugly. You didn't have to say that. You know you should be there with him. Again, you don't know me. Well, I know him. And any woman that he leaves all his other women for needs to be there with him. Connie. You don't need to call me again, okay? You know, he said you was hard-headed, but your ass is hard-headed. So he talks to you about me? Yeah, sometimes. Like, we were supposed to be doing this, and he was talking about you putting me to sleep. Connie? What's up? Kind of like how you was talking to the light-skinned dude at the club? I was close enough, I heard what you said. I was not talking about Zach. Well, you for damn sure was thinking about him, girl. Look, Connie, look, I'm at work, I gotta go, okay? Okay, he's still at the hospital on the fourth floor. Why are you pushing me there, huh? He hasn't called me, he doesn't want me there, so stop. Fatima, my name is Connie, it's not Aaliyah. I'm not going back and forth with you. Go there or not. Look, I'm at work, all right, I gotta go. Okay. I think you should go to the hospital, though. Who does she think she is? Girl, who was that? Honey. That bitch that used to fuck with. Why is she calling you? Telling me that I need to go to the hospital. Shit. She right, you do. Angela. You do. As I said. I know he didn't ask you there, but, um... You should still go. I mean, what if she dies? Look, I don't even know if it's that bad. She OD'd. It might be. Uh, and if he knows you knew and you're not there, he might not be able to recover from that. Shit. Tima, I know you don't want to get hurt, but you need to get to that hospital. I hear you. All right. Yes, she is. Hey, girl. What the? I was just here to check. What on the Zach. fuck are you doing here? I was just coming to check on Zach. He don't need you here. I was just wondering where you were. Belinda, let me tell you something. You ain't never got to worry about where I am. Because if you keep wondering where I am, I'm going to be in jail for busting a cap in your ass. Come on, boy. Oh, see? Yeah, you need to go. I just came here to... You know what? Actually, you're in the right here. place for me to put you in one of these hospital beds. <laughs> now, get the fuck out of here. I'm on. Now! Let's go. What are you still standing here for? Come on. You should be... Go you should go. make sure he takes her out. All right, thank you. Mm. It is. He ain't tell for Tamer she not to sit down. If you want me to leave, I'll go. I need you to stay. Whoa. Mm. I don't know what's going on. It's okay. You know what Jeremiah said to me? What? It's all my fault. Because I gave her the money. I'm sorry. See, my. I was just trying to get myself right. I was trying to get us right. I didn't mean for this to happen. Zach, look at me. Look at me. Baby, this is not your fault. Baby. It's not, okay? Here we go. It still hurts. I know. I know. Damn. Can you just hold me, please? Oh. Yeah. Come on. It's okay. Please don't leave. I'm right here. Please. I, I, I know you're mad, but you can't Zach. leave. I promise you, I'll be better. I'm not leaving. I can't do no more laws, man. Like, Zach. I'm not going anywhere. All right? Promise. Promise? Yes.
It's okay. I love you. I love you too. Yes. Hi, Mr. Yes. Taylor. Yes. I'm so sorry. <sighs> All right. Um, I'm so sorry. In Tyler Perry world, when that happens, it's never what it, you know, like everybody is going to be on the blogs and stuff talking about, oh, no, his mother actually died. I, I'm, let me just rant here for just one second. I'm, I'm going to get over in 60 seconds. If this is your first time watching a Tyler Perry show, then you're excused from what I'm about to say. But if you've been watching Tyler Perry shows for any length of time, the fact that he continues to do this and you continue to fall for it baffles me when we're talking about adults. Whenever the show or episode ends... And something is said that's just clearly obvious, but it's not actually said. Something is insinuated that's clearly obvious. When the show comes back on, it's never the thing that it was so clearly obvious to be. It's always a ploy or a lure for something else. Sometimes, even when it's outright said, then the show comes back on and it's something else. But there's never a situation like this where the doctor just says, I'm sorry. And then it goes off. Not I'm sorry your mother died. I'm sorry. And then it goes off. It's never a time when it means that. So I don't know what's going to happen to Zach's mother. But that didn't mean she's going to die. She's probably going to say, I'm sorry. We really meant to get the information to you five minutes ago, 10 minutes ago. <laughs> but this is a Tyler Perry show. So if you've been watching Tyler Perry shows for any length of time, you have to realize what you just saw. And if you're going to be on these chat rooms and blogs and message boards and groups talk talking about, oh, Zach's mother died in the last episode. And you've been watching Tyler. Perry shows for any length of time I really believe you should just check yourself into an institution for the criminally insane because there is no hope All right, I'm sorry I'm done <laughs> I think you're right um, the, last, the episodes were great action packed a lot of content um, and like you said, it's, it's probably a, a plot twist. On we're, we're sorry, you you double parked or something stupid. Yeah, yeah, it's not, <laughs> no, no. and it's gonna happen right in, uh, two seconds into the next episode. Yeah. Um, all right. Uh, let's go down the list. Uh, uh, how do you feel about Fatima? So do do we feel like they're officially back together, Zach and Fatima? They, they will be back together. They're not. They, it's Fatima. I mean, we always knew that. Yeah, of course. But Fatima will be home tonight. All right. So well, or, or whenever be... Zach leaves, she's she's going home with him. All right. Uh, do, 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 do. I'm gonna skip over Deja because she's just comic relief. Uh, Angela. We, I think she's going to be happy to get her space back. <laughs> uh, Angela, so is Angela done with Bryce? No. Like, like, obviously, she's not. Does right. she have a leg to stand on to be arguing? No. With, that's with, the, with it's the most ridiculous <laughs> thing ever. You don't know what you want to do. Um, well, she, she knows. Yeah, she you don't, you don't, uh, uh, at, least, at least Fatima wasn't actually doing the do. You know what I mean? Yeah. Angela was straight having sex, getting yeah. a butt blown up. Angela they doing her thing. Nerve. But have you know what? Nerve. If she saw Bryce with a dude, would she? I don't think she'd have a reaction. I think the problem is that she sees him with a woman, and then she just assumes that all of the women who he might be with thinks like her. Mm-hmm. You see how she brought? Oh, the, does she know what you went to? Right. <laughs> He's like, yeah. She's like, oh, well, I guess I'm old-fashioned. I mean, and I guess uh, 
girls with guys and yeah, you know not, i mean i, I got no fashion at all we didn't broke that all the way down all right uh <clears throat> do you think we've seen the last of connie i mean like does she still serve a purpose anymore I think we see Connie again. I think that we've seen the evolution of Connie. You know, just like Zach's brother went downhill without uh -huh. any explanation. She came up without any explanation. She wasn't the type of person talking any sense at all when we saw her. She That's she true. was she was a person that I thought to be like two steps above a crackhead when we saw her. Girl, she was always on a corner. So that's what I was like. You got kids? Like, how come you always outside? Yeah. Uh, so, but that, so that kind of threw me off, you know what I mean? Because yeah. every each time we see her, when we go looking for her, she's on the block right up the street from Zach's mother doing drugs. You know what yep. I mean? So yeah. that makes me feel like that was kind of that, that that script for her was kind of off, way off. And once again, they 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 switched it real quick, just like they switched it with uh the brother right. with her. Now she's all knowing and and supportive, which you know, wise. She got I, wisdom. She's giving wisdom. <clears throat> So I, I don't know. It really didn't make sense to me. Yeah. Um, Bryce, uh, we want uh, how do? What do you think was going on with his bank account? So I'm going to rule out that it's not uh, it's not Angela. Uh, so yeah, it's, it's probably not her. Uh, I wonder what's up with that. So are they shaking things up? Is that going to be back struggling again? So that's kind of cool. We got to keep them hungry. We just can't have them. I think we don't go. I don't. I don't think we go back to Zach struggling. But if if the business account, ooh, I don't know. I don't know. His don't assets know are fro his assets are froze, meaning he can't yeah. pay his bills. So, like I say, he may not lose the house, but when you when your assets are frozen, you know that's 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 tough. Yeah. Uh, choo -choo 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 -choo. Belinda, do we see Belinda again? We see her again. She's not off the show. Um, I really think that at some point her and Fatima go break. I mean, make up. I think that the girls are going to eventually be back together again. The, I don't see if if it did that that wouldn't make any sense to me. Them getting back together, uh, being friends again, that wouldn't make any sense to me. Yeah. None at all. I can see her still being in the picture because uh, Nathan is outcast. She's outcast, so they're going to be together scheming how to get back in or or still having sexual encounters so i think we will see her via nathan that's what i think yeah well we'll uh, see how do we feel about tony's role that this uh these last two episodes that's the ball headed one the other other friend of zach's the ball head dark skinned oh, ball yeah 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 that's yeah yeah he has actually come up to be a likable dude i didn't really like any of them either of them at first I mean, clearly, I, I hated the other one more, but I didn't particularly care for either one of them. Right, and, and what what I was saying is, we would all they were introduced all together like the knuckleheads, you know yep. what I mean? And Zach was yeah. he was he was a knucklehead too, but yeah. just happened to evolve. And I think we always see uh, Nathan and Tony together, so I I write them both off as goofy, but what it's really just Nathan. Yeah. That's the and, goofy one. And, and I, again, I think that situation of evolves too, where they, they become kind of tight again. Who? Zach and his friends. Well, no, he's always been cool with Tony. You mean Nathan is the one that got to do I'm some talking work. about as a three, like the three of them hang out and, and, and do things. I don't know. It's going to take some time because that's some shady stuff. Yeah. That's some shady stuff. Um. Well, how do you feel about uh, Nathan, Nathan's role? Um, Nathan. That's the uh, the one who's been having sex with uh, your girl Belinda. Well, okay, you're right. That's the, what I'm. That's what I was saying about him. I don't like him. I don't think that he has done anything likable. But I think <clears throat> it's all gonna come back around. I like all of these core people. I don't think that that I, we're going to not see any of them. I think that like all of them are, are I think all of these people are here to stay. And I really think, do think that these relationships are going to work themselves out. Well, because he's actually married, but he's like, he's the only one who doesn't have a job, doesn't have his own place. He's the only one that's really floating right now. Interesting. Yeah. 
Yeah, he. Mm. I don't know when when that's gonna um work itself out. I don't know that. What do you think is gonna happen with that? I don't know. Maybe he has that type of relationship that uh that Zach used to have with Karen. You know that on off again cheating. Yeah. Because that's the type of relationship they had back in the day. Yeah. And Paul, what else? do we see Paul again? I mean, we he's a contractor, so we're always gonna see we, him. Now. We see Paul. I kind of like Paul. I I I I, I he's kind of grown on me. Um, clearly he's not gonna be for the team, and I don't know that he plays any sort of major role. But I would like to see Paul get a show. I would like. I, I'm interested in what the hell is going on with Paul. You want Paul to have a spinoff? I do. I think that. I mean, I don't know enough about him yet, but he's an interesting character. There seems to be so many ways to go with with him. When I look at all of the other characters on the show, I can't think of any other character that that I care about seeing outside of this Zatima world. But Paul. He's an interesting dude. You don't think so? I don't think he's interesting enough to carry his own show. Well, not that, yet. That's me. But it could be developed. Yeah, but what have you seen thus far? That that's what I want to get to. What have you seen to make you think that this this when they were sitting there on that uh, uh, in that park, the stuff that he was saying to her was hysterical. He just has okay. personality. It's funny. Okay, I don't. I don't agree, obviously, but okay. I got to see more. Put it that way. I got to see more of yeah. them to see what you see. Yeah, I, 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 I see him being able to to carry a show if if developed properly. Hmm. I I have no idea what we would talk about. Seeing him on different projects at work. No, we wouldn't even have to. We we would um, find out about his life. He he would he end up. Life. He he would he would wait. Hold on. He's an anomaly just to create tension, spice, and wisdom. All right, let's see. That's the way he is right now. That's the only, <laughs> from my vantage point, that's the only character. <clears throat> That's Al. That's the only character that can be uh, on Zatima that has the potential to be written up to, to into something more. I don't see any other character that has that potential right now. None. So I'm I'm hoping you're going to tell me, Jeff, that you don't see any characters because there's no possible way you could not see it in him, but see it in. But anybody. Paul's Paul's not first on the list. He's not even well, okay. like come okay. Okay, who is? So then I mean, no and this is this is this is just me shooting in the dark. The same thing you doing because there's nothing Paul has shown other than a few. I don't know comical conversations. So many times. What's what's the? What? He's stolen the scene several times. How and when? Arguments with Zach. I, funny. Talking on the elevator. Hysterical. Yelling at his uh, uh, subordinates. To get the elevator uh, going, that was all funny. I feel, and, and forgive me, Paul is like he has one one gear, one speed. He couldn't even go running with 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 for him. He had to ride a bicycle, which is fine. But I feel like he has one gear. Like, have you seen, like he has one gear acting wise. And that that I was probably wrong to say that, but like he's just that that you know I'm here I'm that teddy bear. What else have you seen from him? Yeah. Other than that one year, he's just got some, uh, he's got more personality. You know he, he no he's relying on look at look into my eyes my evil zombie eyes. That's what he's relying on. Look into my zombie eyes. That's enough. He's not fooling I think you. He, huh? Oh. And you know how many people that's putting in work actually acting and you're not giving them a shot? Who? Jesus. Well, you got Angela, Angela showing her behind and stuff. No, I'm just going to say, no, well, whether it's right no, or wrong, whether it's no. right or wrong, whether it's right or wrong, you got people, you going to give it to him for just showing up to work? You're telling me that, that, you, that you, you're telling me that Angela is more interesting. Is that what you're telling me? No, I'm, I'm trying to prove a point. You're the type of boss that gives it to somebody just because they show up to work. When you got the person right, 
right right in the next room, busting they behind, showing layers. And you want to give the Paul why? Got a roll with Jeff. Paul's showing no range or personality to carry a show. Who said this? Hold on. Let me find out who said that. Whoever said this, they need to be. I, I should have known. I should have known who said that. Matthew. Who I, I, well, I told you about Matt. I told you. He'd be on it. I told you Matt be on it. Yeah, 50% of the time, you, he seems to be right. Huh? 50% of the time, he seems to be right. But but he, but he you got to admit, he's right. Like, you pick Paul out of everybody in this case. And I'm not saying anybody deserves a spinoff anytime soon, but you pick Paul? Like, what? Why? Because yeah. he was on Sisters? That's why? When? Who did he play on Sisters? No, I'm saying because he was he was ex wasn't he on Sisters a few times? He Maybe. Paul. I don't remember. It won't be I'm just saying, I think that's kind of goofy that you pick Paul. Well, one I'm, saying, I'm saying that he's the only person in the show that's interesting enough to even possibly develop to carry a show. Angela, absolutely not. No, nobody what about else. Price? Hold on. What about praise? What about praise? Look at you. You don't even want to admit it. This, this, dude got, this dude got a business going. Smart. We don't even know about all his, his, his evil... Even ways we want to see all of that. Okay, well may, may, maybe. No, 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 maybe. no, no. You can't. Now you can't backslide. Now oh, I'm no, not you backsliding. Stick with it. I'm not. I'm yes, not, you I'm are. Not. yes, you no, are. Yes, you are. But I'm, I'm proving a point. I'm proving a point that you that you pick freaking Paul over. You got Bryce. I still pick Paul Boom. over Bryce. I still pick Paul oh, over my Bryce. My God, you've made, you've made a point that it's possible for Bryce's character. To be developed. You just said it wasn't. Point. You just said nobody else. You just said nobody else could be developed. And now you want to backslide and say I'm right about Paul being developed. Okay, just yeah. listen to me. Yeah. I am saying that I had not given Bryce that level of consideration. You're oh right about that. God. But now, Which even that I have, now even that I have done that, Paul still beats Bryce. But maybe, maybe. Bryce also could be developed to the point that he gets a spinoff show. But that kind of proves my point because Paul just came in and did it. Bryce's been working it since season one. You still haven't told me what what is what what is it that Paul did for you? What, what did just he do? Other than, other than look, other than look in the camera with them zombie eyes into the what did he do? <laughs> it's the, what did he over, do? It's the overall personality. You know, sometimes you can, they all got personality. They no, all they got personality. No, they don't. No, they don't. Now you now now you're just I didn't say a good personality. They have a personality. I didn't say a good one. His personality is the type of a personality that could be groomed into a a a, 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 a spinoff. Mashed potatoes? Okay. And maybe if they really develop Bryce and put some money in into his character or time in his character, maybe he could as well. You don't but I can tell you, name. I can tell you, I'm thinking of everybody else. I'm going one by one down the list, and I'm just saying, no, no, no. Like, they can't even be developed. No, 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 absolutely not. Hell no. Nope. Get the fuck out of here. You know, this is, this is, all these are variations of no with everybody else. Especially Angela. I, I agree on that. I mean... <clears throat> I mean, I wish I knew what really happened with her and Zach. You know, we could do some some flashbacks. I wouldn't mind saying that. Uh, we could we could uh, develop Connie. Connie got some stuff. She got three freaking kids. No. Working two jobs. Oh, Another good times. Oh, nobody. Wants yeah, okay, to. because you don't want to hear about that. But I'm saying we got people that got some stuff to talk about, okay. and you want to well, think. She can she can go on Paul's show and 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 get some more acting jobs. The Paul show. Yeah, that is so fucking boring. It's gonna be canceled. It's not gonna the be first canceled. Episode. <laughs> <laughs> the Perry shows don't get canceled. That, I'm that, gonna what, put what, in Paul. What, what is that? What is that show about the uh, retirement community that Tyler has? Oh, uh, uh, something. I forgot the name of it. I never watch it, but I know I know what you're talking about though. Something living, I think. Anyway. It it has not been canceled. If that show hasn't been canceled, the Paul show won't get canceled. I'm gonna put I'm gonna put up a poll. If people think that Paul can 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 hold his own, can can handle his own spinoff, and when if you Paul put can that handle poll up, spinoff, people just be honest and say yes. 
Just be honest and say yes. And guys, don't forget, you can win some uh, Perry Necessary merch. And we got more tumblers and mugs coming out. Uh, I forgot what my question was that I wanted people to put in. I um, wanted to find out whether or not um, Fatima or uh, Karen should be the recipient of this new Zach energy. Yes. Yes. I, I, I don't know why I'm still on. Uh, wait, no. I said Karen, right? Yeah. Well, I'm still on Karen. <laughs> well, yeah, it's a good question. Yeah. Yeah, whoever has the best answer, they're going to win some swag, some Perry Necessary swag. All right, right. Before we go, go ahead, Colin. Tell tell Jeff about himself. Yeah, Colin. Yeah, Colin. Well, actually, I have to agree with Jeff with this. Oh. <laughs> um, you have to understand. You have to understand, Paul is just in the show just to be there for Fatima, and that's it. I know Fatima's your girl, Daryl, but that's, that's all he's there for. That's it. That might be all he's there yeah. for, but isn't it possible that we could develop his personality to the point that people care wow. or something? No, you're just saying no. I'm going to ask you that question how. I'm going to ask you that question how. I don't know how. Just start start but showing you, more of him. Your argument has to have facts behind it. So how? How are they going to develop it? How do they develop any character? Well, I'm I'm asking you the basic how. How? How would they develop it we, from where we're seeing him now? We might he okay. He could start dating one of the other people on the show. He could start dating Andrew. It's not going to happen because he's only He could start he, he, he that, no, I, I'm still developing this one. He could start. He could start dating Angela. Then he's gonna get a little bit more screen time. He could go into business with Fatima, and and or he could go into business with okay. Fatima, and then he starts okay. getting more screen time. There, Sir Darryl, can I pause it for a second? There is no way. Hold on, hold on, Al. There is no way Angela's gonna start dating Paul and cross her own friend Fatima. She's gonna get. There's no way. That's, that's not gonna happen. That's that's not gonna happen. She's going to get Fatima's permission. Okay, fine. They go into business together. Fatima and Paul. Now we find out more about Fatima Paul. Fatima and Paul goes into business together? That's right. That's right. Is that going to be cool with that? She's an attorney assistant, right? She's an attorney's assistant, but she also works. She has been working <laughs> in that program with the, with the board house. <laughs> I'm just trying to make sense out of this. because that, 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 <laughs> She was sense. an assistant. <laughs> she was an assistant when she met Zach, and yet she was still working with that builders program. Remember? So what's up? What's up with this uh, It doesn't give her any kind of leverage to have a business uh, with him because she's not trying to leave the job. She didn't give any kind of. Uh, uh, she made all sorts of job. money in that building program. <laughs> she probably has money that she could throw throw to the business. Well, that's a high probably, but you know. But I, it's a I, it's I'm a possibility. You asked for what know, they could I do. Know, I know you. I know you have a possibility, but that still doesn't give a good write off to how he's going to get his own spinoff. That's all I'm saying. You just don't want him to get a spinoff. Well, he's not. He's not a character of choice for a for a spinoff. Mm -hmm. That's all I'm saying. Okay, Let, let's let's take to woo the just to woo us. To woo the viewers that, that hey, you know, Zach is for Fatima, but if Zach does mess up, we know we have somebody mm. that really wants her. That's, that's let, let, let me ask you this. Take spinoff off of the equation. All right, no problem. No is problem. he an interesting character at all to you? The, the, the things that he says, the personality, is he in any way interesting at all? Like, I, I, and, and when I when I say that, I'm comparing him to like, mm -hmm. That do that Angela had over today. He ain't interested. Nobody cares about him. Nobody cares about anything he has to say. I'm thinking about some of the other people that come through there. They're just not interesting. Is he at least an interesting dynamic as a as a character? Well, I will give you this right here. They gave him more screen time due to the fact that he was messing with the team. Mm -hmm. So we had to actually see what was going on between the two of them to why to where the tying comes to where. That comes into play and try to fight back for her. That's why they actually gave him more screen time. But in essence, I mean, if we look at it, 
we could honestly say he's really not a big candidate for anything. He just was a filler to <sighs> to get Zach on edge. You know, Damn. he was just one of those kind of guys. That mm-hmm. was it. Because if you if you remember, if you remember, he did go. He, he Zach and him spoke after he was there with his former wife, and he said, "You have to really give her that that love that she." So he was tying in with Zach. He went to Zach saying, "Hey, you know, giving him pointers." A, a person that has a spinoff is going to be like, no, nah, I'm not giving you nothing. I'm trying to take your lady. Nah. See, you all aren't you you you're you the things that you're saying are not in inaccurate with, with the specifics of what you're saying. I'm I'm all more right. or less talking about his personality. The actor has the ability to take this character and do some things with it and enough to, no. to, to make it interesting. And if he no. were given that's, the leeway, that's, he could do that. That's the question I asked you. I, I was asking that question and you haven't answered that yet. I haven't I have you answered think? it. You've just rejected the truth. <laughs> I'm, I'm, you, you said you said what did you say again you said uh i said his personality is the type of personality that can be developed into something that people will care about and how dare okay, you disagree so what, does his personality, what does his personality give to the viewers that, that that's humor. Right humor humor and, and he can say some foul things without turning people off but he didn't. But his humor, his humor was based on Fatima and what he wanted to do with her. That's because right uh, now, that's where his character is. Okay, let me back up. Let me back up a little bit. Okay, uh, first, first, he started off with the good guy act. All right, let's start off with that first. Yeah, I do that first. He started off with the good guy act. It failed. Fatima don't want a good guy. She never did. All right, and that's your girl. You should know that. Um, secondly, he went off, he went off with, with a uh, more sensible, uh, aggressive, uh, move, uh, motion where he, he was acting like the friend, but at the same time, he wanted to be more than that. And we all know that I'm a guy, you're a guy, you know, you're in the bed with a female. You're not going to sit there in clothes, lay down. Doing a little hug, hug stuff. Good. That's a big turn off for a female. That is a big turn off for a female. Now you just put yourself even further in a friend zone <laughs> when it comes to the female. You know? So, and then now you come to this aggressiveness that he should have showed in the beginning. That he didn't show in the beginning. You know, after that, it's too late. So, yeah, I get what you're saying, but he went at it all in the wrong point. He, he started off wrong in the, in the beginning. And he, he still further on and went wrong by trying to do the, the thing that he was supposed to do in the beginning at the end, which led him to where he's at right now in the doghouse. Jeff is demanding that I block you. So if you end up not being able to ever call our show again, I, I want to just say it's all his fault. It is not mine. I, I'm, I'm just trying to make, I'm just trying to see where you're coming from, Daryl, but I don't see it at the same time. Well, when 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 he gets his own spinoff show, I expect you to call in when Jeff and I, I are will. doing the uh, review of that, and I I will accept your apology at that time. But do you agree with what I'm saying? <laughs> Absolutely I'm not. Saying. You're spitting Why non facts. You're you're spitting you're spitting that? nonsensical uh, words. You have, you have to you have to educate me a little bit on why. Uh, uh, I I give up. <laughs> All right. That's it. <laughs> we won't resolve this tonight. <laughs> uh, all right. Well, thank right, you, guys. sir. I appreciate it. I really it. appreciate the content. You know, keep doing what you guys are doing. Thank you. Hey, hey, Matthew, if you're hearing this, hey, I need some more action from you too, man. Yeah. Ma- Matthew, um, <laughs> Matthew is going to get blocked just like you, sir. <laughs> no, don't do that. <laughs> thank you again. All right. You guys have a great night. All, all right. right all right, hold on before we go. I got two more quick things here. Paul messing with his baby girl Fatima. <laughs> I don't think he has the potential for a spinoff. What is wrong with everybody? I'd rather see that Ratchet Chronicle spinoff with Zach's mom, Connie and Jeremiah. Okay. Oh, now that would be something. That would be something. <laughs> now, that would be something. Yes. Do you see? In order to combat Paul, we had to come up with 
three different characters, mush them into one, and say they can have a spinoff. What do they think this is? This is uh, Keisha Cole's family. Is that what they? Is that what they think this whole thing is? No, but the, the, the point is, there's some talent that you look past. So many you look at you look past so much potential, so much potential, so many potential. Spin off so many topics we could have touched. Oh my goodness, you could call. Oh. That was that was Matthew right there. All right, everybody. I thank you all for rolling with the. How long we've been doing this today? We are two and a half hours <laughs> in, and we had two <laughs> we had two twenty minute shows <laughs> to review. <laughs> two twenty minute shows. It took us two and a half hours. You, you got a lot, of, you have a lot of editing to do here, Jeff. Yeah, I'm gonna do it tonight, and I'm gonna try and get all this stuff edited. Uh, follow us on Rumble, uh, YouTube, uh, TikTok. You know, all you gotta do is type in uh, "Perry Necessary," and I'm gonna put it down in the description on YouTube. And of course, it's also gonna be posted in our Facebook group. I do want to to double um, um, what Jeff just said about Rumble because when we we I know that most people don't know even what rumble is and most people aren't watching us on rumble but when we get i want you all to go to rumble and create a free account and subscribe to us on rumble because when we get enough subscribers on rumble we can just broadcast live right into rumble and that will allow you to watch us there until our site is up we we will have a website but until our website is up that will allow you to watch this whole thing live on rumble if you aren't ever like on Facebook or want to send other people who aren't in the group. Because right now, the only people who can watch us live are the people who are watching us in the group. And we want to make it so that you can watch us on Rumble. So I need people to just just take a minute. Go to Rumble, rumble rumble.com, I think it is. Create an account, find Perry Necessary, and click subscribe. It's all free. But when we get enough subscribers, we can broadcast directly into there. All right? Thank you. All right. I think that's it. All right, we will be back next week with more Zatima, and next month we're going to do Oval. I thought we were doing it this week, and I don't know how that happened, Jeff. I don't know how that we got to the point that we were... Oh, no, go ahead. Finish. Oh, I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm done. Oh, you're done? Okay, I'm sorry. I didn't yeah. All right. Um, I don't know how I did that, but I thought that uh, the Oval was back this week. So I've, I've been out of town. I was in Salt Lake City over the weekend. And one of the things that I just couldn't wait to do was to get back and review the Oval. And then Jeff, you know, you ever seen um, like you have these little kids and they got these um, balloons, right? And they're so happy about that balloon. It's so pretty and it moves in the wind. And then you have that one asshole with a pen. And he just walk up and he just pop it. Pop your balloon. That's what Jeff did to me today. I was so excited. Oh. I was just thinking that, oh, I'm going to get to see the oval. And Jeff pulled out his big ass pen. He brushed it off and shined it. And then he seared it to make sure it had a really, really bright point. And I'm holding my balloon. And he just walked up to it and just burst it right in front of my damn face. And I didn't appreciate that. But next month, oh. the oval will be back. And uh, Jeff and I will be reviewing that because we both love the Oval. Mm -hmm. Good show. Great show. All right. That's it. I will see you all (laughs) very, very soon. Later.